Ah, uh, yes. There's nothing quite like Nibelheim in the morning. But I really need to wake up. It is so early. <laughs> Y'all, welcome back into the channel for, I know, keeping you guys on your toes, Rebirth. I think this is part 20, 21, 22, 20 something, something dark side. I don't know. Either way, at this point, we are headed to Nibelheim. So you guys got to see me take what I thought was my time in Cosmo Canyon. We not only explored the entire region, did all the intel. We also went back and did a ton of Chadley stuff. There are still two remaining. Um... But I'm going to wait till I get a little bit stronger before I take those on. If you know, you know. If you don't know, I'm trying to take out the Mind Flayer before killing these two little mini guys. And it is so difficult. You have to kill the Mind Flayer first. I digress. Going back to kind of where we're at with the main mission, this is the next step for us, is going to Nibelheim. I think this is going to be that final region for us. Um, I kind of kept touching on this, but when we did our last Moog Moogle you know, chase around, Moog Hut kind of intel piece, they had mentioned that there was only one more hut left to find. And so that was kind of what gave me the tell that there probably is just one more region left. And to be honest, when we look over here and we see the, where is it? When we see Chadley's, there definitely could be a scrolling option here, but I also think it would fit so perfectly just having one more region. And when we are looking at that map, there really is just this one last remaining cloud coverage. Although I don't know if it's going to clear all of this or maybe it just clears a tiny spot. So I don't know. Here's hoping for more. I really do hope for more than just one more region because if there truly is just one more region, then it means that we're getting close to the end and I don't want it to be over. I really don't want it to. We still have a couple things that we can do around the entire world. I've left a couple things left for later on in the game as well. But other than that, Cosmo Canyon, for the most part, is completed outside of doing, yeah, gadgets and gizmos fully on hard mode, which I'm going to wait as long as possible before I go back to that. But with that, I hope you guys enjoy this next episode. And yeah, let's just go to Nibelheim. No cuts. Let's just go straight into it. Okay, so I think I need to fly there. So let's go ahead and head out. Oi. Need to go to the wild blue yonder. Off we go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, I know why that came to my mind, but... Oh, no. All right, we're going to call Pop the Smoke. Let's go ahead and break some of these. Oh, and we should get new resources. I also think that this is perfect because it really shows you that we're going full circle. We really started with that flashback with Sephiroth. No choice, but thank you for choosing Bronco Airlines. <laughs> my friend, you couldn't give us a lift to Nibelheim, could you? A little far, but not too far, I reckon. Probably a thousand. The old girl should be more than up to the challenge. Mm -hmm. Only 300? That's amazing. Okay, are we ready? We're going back home for Tifa and Cloud. And so at this point, I mean, we've seen where Kate comes from, right? We've now seen where Red comes from, leaving Cosmo Canyon. We also got to see where Barrett, his past is, the complicated past that he has as well. And then we obviously have Aerith, but I feel like Aerith has moments littered throughout the entire playthrough where she connects with each and every region. I, I guess I hadn't thought about that until now, but yeah, I feel like every time she travels somewhere new, there is this emotional connection. And I don't know if that's because, you know, in Gongaga, she knew Zack, right? So she met Zack's parents. Um, here, they got to see the, you know, we had plantology and everything. And so, I feel like there is a part of that, though, that just shows how connected she is no matter where she goes, because she is a descendant of the ancients. And because of that, she is connected to the world and the planet at its core. And so I think no matter where she travels, every place will feel a little bit like home. Uh, so, yeah, let's go to Nibelheim. I think my volume's all right. Okay. The tiny Bronco. Oh, I think it's gonna let me fly. Is it gonna let? Oh, we're flying. It is. Look at the completely different kind of, I guess, terrain. 
It does. It reminds, there's so many aspects of this that make me think of FF16. I know that's probably an annoying comparison, but for me, like, it's the only other game I've played. Yeah, Nibelheim is known for those, like, sharp rocks, right? And then you've got the red from, oh, from Cosmo Canyon, the red, just like, I want to fly low. I'm telling you, that is the Doritos logo. We're coming in this way. There's the reactor. We weren't that, he's saying this is far. This doesn't seem that far. All right, bring her down. What's that in the water? Do you see those? Boats? Fish? Oh, snap. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. <coughs> I think that's chapter 10 done. I think this is chapter 11. <gasps> chapter 11 at the Long Shadow of Shinra. Oh, so this is significant for so many reasons. Obviously, Cloud and Tifa's home, but also, I believe, wasn't this one of the first experimental Shinra reactors? Maybe I'm wrong on that, but... But this is where that night began. Hey, Sephiroth, wait up! Bring me the black materia. Huh? <laughs> wow, I had no idea that the black materia was that significant. <gasps> They've never okay. said that yet. Yeah. Looks like we're not the only ones headed for Nibelheim. He swam a long way. Huh. Almost like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it. No, I, I think that is an important note. I don't know, I still go back to I feel like Cloud is being used. I really feel like Cloud is a pawn at this point. Odin? Oh, stop. Okay. Um, new summon, new intel, everything, but... Yeah. I almost feel like Sephiroth has this kind of... Bond or is using us appearing in flashes because we are still coherent enough to where maybe we would be more successful at getting what he needs. I mean, Sephiroth is so powerful. That's the only part that, like, I guess is a hole in my thought process there is... He's so strong, why would he need somebody else to do it for him? It just doesn't make sense. But there's also been significantly less black robe men as we've continued through our travels. I think there used to be more, and now they've they've definitely been dwindling in numbers. Okay, let's explore this airstrip. I am gonna try to keep this pretty um just like whoa. Okay, hold on. There is still, okay, okay, fingers crossed this isn't the last region. Okay, this is so good. Maybe this whole time I thought there was just one more Mog Stool, but there's actually so many more. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. I can explore Nemelheim and not thinking that it's gonna be the end. The end is near. Man, there's so much to explore here. Oh. You can actually go to the islands. That's why we saw stuff in the water. <gasps> okay, this is going to be incredible. I w oh, no, but we're also going to go back to the... We're going to go back to the village. We're going to see where his mom... Oh, there's just going to be so many hard memories that are going to come back to us. And also, I wonder if we can find out the truth of what... <gasps> what was that? Posh Chocobo. I hear Posh Chocobo. That's a Posh Chocobo. <gasps> Hi! Also, guys, I think we just got new materials. <gasps> Hello! This is awesome! I do want to go back. I think I'm going to end up having to look it up, but I definitely want to go back and acquire all of the Posh Chocobo bus stops. Because I think those are, there's a couple that I'm missing in some of the regions. I think especially Gungaga. Hi! I know! Look at the little green... But I don't know. I was trying to... The leaf, the green leaf. That means new Chocobo looks, too. I love the gray. It's giving Nibelheim, but then we've got this pop of color on the acorn butt. It makes sense. It feels very Nibelheim. I know. Also, his little acorn butt matches the the air poster. The musical gallery poster. Mm. Oh, 
I'm also almost on the mend, but you can hear it in my voice. My voice is still a little strained. Same thing. I'm gonna have to like clear it with a cough occasionally, but I am on the mend. Wow. Some of these feel like from like a bygone era. Like this is wild. I wonder how long some of this stuff has been sitting here too. But on the bright side, we have our quick travel back. Massive aircraft. Not a lot to explore. Mm. Some new resources, which is important. And yeah, let me go this way. Y'all know me. I have to explore everything as we go. I am going to try to head straight for Nibelheim just to progress the story a little bit. But bunnies! Oh, we're going to have to come back here. You know, that is something that I guess I could mark it, but I don't think you can have multiple pins. I think that would be kind of nice. I don't know if you guys are like that, but I would love to be able to pin multiple things and be like, oh, rabbits, I'm going to come back later. You know, I guess for the most part, a lot of it is already like annotated. So you don't have to worry about pinning a lot of things, but the rabbits would come in handy if you could at least drop a pin for all of them. Boxes over there. Yeah. So let's check this out. Nibelheim is probably visually a little bit more lackluster than the other regions because again, it's um, yeah, you can see the floating things. It's a little bit more desolate than some of the other places. Again, it's a harsh climate, but it's home to them, you know? All right, that black robed guy is not traveling very fast because I have been exploring this whole thing and he's barely out of the surf or the strip. Look at this. Okay. Pop this. Now that we have some new resources, I wonder if we can already go ahead and craft something. Boxes, antidotes, high potions. I'm gonna try this round to use many, many more items too. I know there's a lot that you guys have seen me not using. Uh, Kate? Oh. I meant to tell you before, but the terminal's probably gone. Nibelheim burned down five years ago. Not so worry though. Really? The terminal is as snug as a bug in a rug. Cause Shinra wasn't about to let that facility burn down. Meaning the reactor? Well, that's important too. But no. I'm no expert a lab? on Nibelheim. But what I do know is that it's the only lead we have on that materia. Mm. So not much choice. Yeah. It's this or Look. nothing. We should get going. Oh, there is another black robe man. That's not the same one, right? No, yeah, yeah, there are more. Okay, there are more. So Kate's saying that there's another facility. It's got to be a lab. There's got to be a lab facility of some sort. He's saying reunion as well, but now they're starting to say black materia, which was never something before. I wonder if the black materia has anything to do with the reason why, like we've never even, I guess I've never even thought to hypothesize why they have these robes, why they have these symbols why you know like they're called the black robed men black robed men so it's like i wonder if there's a connection to that and the connection to the black material you know mm. i think is yuffie with me oh new characters too or new animals get out all right let's do an assess this is the nebel wolf all right, lupine beasts that stalk the peaks and valleys of the region. Cautious by nature and preferring isolation, they are rarely sighted near populated areas or well-trodden tracks or roads. However, they will not hesitate to attack should someone wander into their territory, which we did. Blocking or evading certain attacks will pressure them and then they're susceptible to fire. Which I don't have yet. Wolf on me, wolf on me. There we go. All right, fire ninjutsu on the... I love it. She's like, let's turn up the grill. Oh, I got bound. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Sidewinder. All right, go so that. Nice. All right, new creature. I think uh, there is something I want to look at real quick, though. Did we finish all of the creature intel for Chadley? <coughs> yes, Cosmo Canyon's done. Yeah, I think that's um 
Well, that's not all of the creatures, though. That's just some of them, I think. I think there's many more, actually. We can see that there are going to be five new missions from Nibelheim. Tutorial summons. That's something different. Region intel. There's two region intels for this, which we haven't acquired yet. Combat. Combat simulator. Also, wait. Oh, you know, that's actually probably pretty cheap. If you were to look at tutorial, you could maybe see how many characters you have. I'm wondering. We have some more materia that I can acquire too. Do I have any more magnify? I really need that magnify. I have a fuzz on me. Okay, before we activate this. The music here. It feels, whoa, look at the beautiful purple. <gasps> It feels both like inquisitive and suspense. There's like suspense. And then a little bit something ominous, foreboding. Look at all those eggs. That's not, that's probably not good. They're eggs, right? They've got to be. Mm. That's a chocobo. I saw the chocobo, right? Yeah, look at that. It almost looks like massive spider eggs or aliens or there, 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 there. So it might not let us go pick up the chocobo yet, though. We might have to continue more with the main mission. Huh. We could just go ahead and scoop these up. I am going to try to acquire a chocobo because that will make our travel a little bit faster. But I don't think it's going to let me. <gasps> look at these different boxes. You know, it had been so long since they had changed the way that the boxes looked. These are extremely industrial. You've got that, like, copper logo. Wow. We haven't seen... Yeah, I, I think that is... Is that the Shinra logo, but it's just done in copper? I think so. So that bird sauce, too, and we're not even close to it, though. It didn't get picked up in the... Okay, I mean, I'm going to follow him, but... I didn't get warned about it. Crickets, crickets. Okay, we have more crickets over here. There's something so beautiful about this area. Let's do take the lead. You're in good hands now. Alright, we need to assess. I need to quick cast assess. Frost. There we go. Large insects with voracious appetites found in the mountainous regions. True omnivores. <laughs> omnivores. They eat everything from plants to carry on to carry in even other insects. They possess strong legs and use them to pounce on anything that moves. Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them. Which means... Get him. Build it up, build it up, build it up. Dagger and dead. Let's go ahead and use a high potion on Yuffie as well. I know I see, but I don't think I can come over there. I don't I don't know, sir. Look, there's some driftwood. The water is surprisingly extremely clear for here. I mean not for here, but just in general, I guess. Wow. I guess we can use the grappling hook to kind of get from island to island to do island hopping. <gasps> what is that way? <gasps> okay, no, I'm staying on. I'm staying on task. I don't want to, but I'm going to stay on task. Hold on. Let me just go check that chocobo and then we'll get back. I know it's killing me. Y'all are saying just do it. Just do it. The exploration is strong in this one. Let me grab these. Oh, there is a chocobo stop here, though. So that will come in handy. We can fast travel that. Take me. We might need to kill these things first. Wow, he is kind of far away from his stop. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is such a cute little spot. Oh, the bus stop. Completely away from all the roads. I love where some of these are located. Mm. The chocobo stop is not working. I guess it's not a bus stop. I guess it's a chocobo stop. But still. Alright, good luck. It's for good luck. 
That would be so vicious if that were one of the things you had to do, which was to pet every single chocobo. There'd be no way to know which ones you did and which ones you didn't. Like, as I've played through, I pet almost all of them, but I've definitely missed some. I've definitely been in, like, a rush and been like, oh. I am going to pop squat. <coughs> ah. There's got to be a new... Oh, I wonder if we can... Oh, no, her house would have been burned down. I was just going to say play the piano in Tifa's, but there's no way that you could... Okay, I'm gonna fast travel. Oh, oh yeah, I have to wrangle a chocobo first before I can fast travel. I wonder how... Oh, this is gorgeous. I was gonna say, like, I wonder how much you can swim around. But I also... No, I don't like the idea of that. I don't know. The water gets dark quick. I don't know. No. No, no, no. I see the hawk, though. The hawk is trying to get us to go elsewhere. All right, we are going to fight these just because I do need to... I need to start leveling up. We also need to level up all the characters, period. Okay, these are two creatures that we've already fought. We're going to go fire on that Nebel wolf. And then for her... We're going to go ice to take out the little shrimp. Never mind, he's dead. Never mind. You grab this. Make sure that there's no um, grayed out areas. Mm -hmm. I know I can't. I can't help you right now, sir. Come back to me later. Let me see item transmit. Oh, we can finally do the Giga Potion. Oh, you can do X potions. Oh my gosh. What else? What else? What else? Sellers? Sellers. We can do the Resplendent Bracer. 3737. That's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good. Enhanced. Ugh. I need to do those. All of these are enhanced though right now anyway. The snail shell bracer. Do I not have anybody on with those? I guess not. And then we've got a couple of earrings. But honestly, let's go ahead and make that giga potion. What is planet spirit maybe? Or the, maybe it's that saint leaf. That saint leaf possibly. The mist giga potion is what we really want though. But you need other giga. Okay, we need three more. Dang, so you need three more? So I need to acquire. If I get two more, then I can buy that. Or I guess I could buy I could buy two Giga Potions, possibly? I didn't realize I only had one to begin with. I guess I've used them a lot, though. So I need to remind myself. I was about to say, y'all remind me, but I need to remind myself. When we get to a shop, we'll pick up two Giga. Look at the street post all the way out here. That's just kind of strange strange i mean i guess at one time it was well landscaped you know and then it switches to road here okay so there should be a chocobo right up here here it is whoa is this for the reactors like it's built in they've built so many things into the mountain it's incredibly impressive okay let's do it so they let you get your chocobo fairly quickly. What the heck? These are cactus. They're cacti. Okay. That's got to be our right chocobo. I love, love those purple flowers. Yep, Selena. Selena is the chocobo. This is a very, this purple and blue seem to be the Nibelheim kind of vibrant colors. Kind of like the colors of Nibelheim, I guess I would say. Um, because we see that on the Posh Chocobo as well. Oh, I wonder if the Posh Chocobo's acorn leaf butt corresponds with what... Oh. Corresponds with what, um, color the Chocobo is going to be. I guess I need to get through? The Chocobo definitely sees me. What is this for? Oh, chocobo bait first. Okay, let me pick up. I need to pick up as much chocobo bait as possible. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna need to bait him out. Gotcha. Oh, they just came back. You can actually have a ton of bait. Okay, it's better to have more bait than less. All right, roll down, roll down. 
All right, let me see my path. We've got two chocobos. Oh gosh. Let me, uh, but how, how could I possibly get around that? Did those ones ever go down? The ones in the back go down. Do you have time between them? Okay, so I could go, mm, okay. Do I need to wait for those guys to go down? I'm sitting here like, I feel like only they. Okay, so both patches are down. Only Final Fantasy would put giant cacti in the game just to stop you from going forward. Okay, those ones are going down. Okay, so I'm gonna aim this here. Throw. What the heck? Where am I throwing these? What aim? What is this? What? I'm just confused as to where it thinks I'm trying to aim. Like, why can I not? Okay, hold on. I gotta roll. I gotta grab more. Hold on. How am I supposed to do that? Every single chocobo has been like, it's the bane of my existence. Let's be honest. Okay. The other chocobo show no interest in the bait. What? They don't care at all. I'm so, what? Is the bait for Selena? Is it so that you throw it down? Maybe you get Selena to come to you. Oh, it was never about you going to her. It must be gotta be right that's why you can throw it so okay that's it that's it yes lure selena towards the entrance that's it okay you gotta make sure it's somewhat near oh my gosh this is so funny that makes so much sense why you couldn't throw it like right next to it. <laughs> okay, this is too cute. This is awesome. That makes sense why you have this kind of like perch too and everything. So we're gonna have to wait for the right timing. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get her through when these guys go down. She can go either path. I think I'm gonna wait and let her go through with these ones. Okay, these guys are going down. Go, go, go. Go, Selena, go. You're gonna have to move kind of fast, though. You're right on top of a... Go. You're right on top of one. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, Selena, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, Selena. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have thrown it. Okay, wait. <coughs> Dang, I think if she gets hurt again, then I will lose her. Okay, so let's wait. I'm gonna wait and just be safe. She was sitting right on top of a cactus. Okay, throw. There we go, she should be safe. Get it, Selena, get it. Okay, she'll be fine. And keep going. Okay, whew, that was close, too close for comfort. The problem is I'm gonna inch her forward a little bit. I feel like she's just a little too far. There we go. Okay, she should be able to ride through. Don't go yet. Wait, don't go. No, don't go, don't go, don't go. Oh no, I lost it. I lost it, the target escaped. She got hit too many times. I know, I know. These are some of the hardest things. My whole squad coming in to tell me I'm horrible. 
Mm. Okay, at least I have a checkpoint. Nice, nice, nice. Wait for it. Come on. Any time now? All right, those ones are done. I know I could, I could definitely get her to run through, but I just, I like being safe. Go, go, Selena, go. Go, 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 baby, go. See, she's not interested. You have to like, see, she's too far away. Okay, let me line her up. Let me line her up. Okay, she's eating that one. Wait for these to go down, then we'll go right here. Okay, this is a tight space, so hopefully she makes it through. Okay, nice, Selena, nice. Walk on, walk on. Okay, stop. <laughs> okay, once we get her past here, nice, throw it. Go, 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 Selena, go. Go, 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 you gotta go fast. Oh, oh, that was so scary. She was so close. Okay, let me throw her over there. This is a massive pile of them. Okay, checkpoint should have been reached. So she needs to get there first. Okay, so she'll have to go there first. Then she'll have to move through to there. Okay, I got it. Let me line her up to get her as close as possible too. You got this, baby. So, we need to wait now. We're gonna want her to get right on top of that guy. So these go down first. Wait for the middle ones to go down. Middle one should go down here in a second. She should be able to do this. There you go. Go, go, Celine. Uh, Selena, <laughs> go. Okay, she should be safe. She should be. I don't know, that cactus on her backside's looking a little terrifying, but. Okay, here we go. Oh, she's safe. Safe. I like that one. Go, Selena, go. Go, 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 go. Go, baby. Okay, I think she'll be fine. So now we just need to get her through this one and then we're done. Mm, mm, mm. So I think we want her to go there first. Maybe. I'm gonna do it. We have a checkpoint. No, that's in the middle of the pile. No, I'm sorry, Celine. No, 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 no. No, I'm sorry. Okay. There we go. Look, she has this pile here. We need to get her in there. Now, go, fly, 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 you fools. Okay, now we just have to get her through this. Come on. Here we go, they're coming down, they're coming down. Go, 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 go. Okay, now we just need to get her out of that. Then right there. And then we're gonna roll down. Nice. It was like 20 minutes just to get a dang chocobo. Okay, I'm not gonna throw it here. I know. Now, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna, yeah, gotcha. All right, there we go. Whew. I do like that they changed them up though. Everyone feels like it. unique. I liked Selena's. I liked tossing it with the cactus. That was clever. That was really, really clever. Probably my favorite wrangle of a chocobo. Dun, 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 dun. I know. You're so beautiful. Like gorgeous. Mm. <gasps> Wall above bodies of water. Hold L2 to launch herself high into the air. A choco jet? What? The choco jet? That's awesome. All right, now that we have our feathered friends, we're gonna swoop up here and head towards the main objective. I know I can travel other places and I'm not going to. I know it's gonna take you guys by surprise, but 
I'm gonna keep exploration for later. I am gonna scoop the whoop on some of these. Oh, I wouldn't mind going back. And then whenever we run into like a bunny. Excuse me, guys, excuse me. Ruby. We do have a, it would be really easy to go grab this. Plus we have to go this way anyway. Mm. I'm gonna hold off on that. Da, 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 da. I know, I know. I keep ignoring you. I know you don't like it. There's rabbits somewhere. Rabbits? Wouldn't be over there. Yeah, it's somewhere along this path, or it might be up above. Mm mm. Go we hug this way. Far now. First time <gasps> since... Yep. First time. Same here. Yeah. I didn't seem worth coming back till now. Didn't think there was anything to come back to. Of Sorry. course. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. Actually, did we get confirmation that her whole family died as well? Like her dad and everybody? I don't know if we ever talked about that, y'all. I'm gonna get this, um... Oh, here it is. That cannot be the same question mark as down below. We know that Cloud's mother died in the fire. But I'm not sure about Tifa's family. I'd imagine so. I think they did. I, maybe I'm already forgetting. That goes to show you my goldfish memory. If they showed us at the beginning and I forgot. All right, let's pick this up. Selena, come on, you can do this. I, I've, I've never found so many chocobo stops so quickly into the region. It's kind of awesome. Feels so powerful. We do have that fiend intel, but it just doesn't feel like the right time. Um, I am gonna pop a squat here. I don't know why, but I'm just kind of into using the cushions every time we stop at these. Yeah, I, I think out of respect to everything that happened here, we need to go straight to Nibelheim itself. Mm-hmm. I want a pet. <laughs> He's so cute. All right, let's hop on forward. Um, uh, Cloud, stay close, would you? <laughs> I honestly thought I was ready for this, but but also it's just too real. She kind of came back in the if you remember, she kind of saw a piece of it in um the live stream. Hold on one second. My nose is still just running a little bit. All right, let's fight these creatures. Yeah, so she saw a piece of it in the live stream. I am going to do something else here. After we... So we used Kanonaki a decent amount. I need to actually get that poison cap. That poison cap should be new. Hold on, hold on. Don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. All right, fungal creatures with multiple mouths. Had I seen these before? Because we had a couple fungal caps, I think, in the grasslands. They spew poisonous spores to weaken nearby animals. They said they turn said creatures into new parasitic hosts. I think we did see these. Yeah. But yeah, there's something else I want to do real quick. Mm. I don't think fire is there. No fire is there. So I want to... I can feel myself. I feel that this is going to be hard to go back here for them. Um, Cloud is actually missing stuff. Yeah. Um, after we did that, that one fight, I forgot to put new stuff on them. So for Cloud, I'm going to put... What was I using on him before? This music's so perfect. Somehow, I, this is crazy, but it's some. it reminds me of some kind of tune in Star Wars. Maybe it's just because of how grand and like epic it feels. 
Josh, music composition is so cool when you think about it. For games, it often can fall kind of in the background. I do like the idea of revival earrings. I have so many. <laughs> Slightly increases the limit gauge. Mm. Increases the limit gauge charge rate upon successfully blocking. Maybe that will cause me to try to block more. I am keeping Yuffie. I'm going to put her scarf back on. Yeah, I talk about this a lot when it comes to games. There are games that I find the music to sometimes be distracting. It's truly a probably difficult balance to successfully... Um, there's somebody else who has it, Barrett. It probably is a really difficult thing to find that balance between something that is there when you maybe slow down you hear the music kind of come to the forefront but then it's not all consuming either like it's not taking over the entire playthrough we want the this one i want more riot vests to be honest i'd love to put a riot vest on <sighs> um i'd love to put one on yuffie so she has more health but so i'm gonna go actually to i know i'm not doing these right at all but I would really like to have Tifa here, and I'm going to actually take Yuffie. Yuffie and Tifa. But I definitely want to have Tifa on during this part. Are those, um... Wait a minute. Are these graves? No, but they almost look like them in a way. Not great. Yeah, uh, coffins, you know? Wow, there's so much stuff down there too. Um, we're gonna wanna, actually we can get to it either way. In fact, we have to go, I think this way. I'm gonna grab the chocobos. Selena. Yeah, he's headed this way. There is something, I think Nibelheim feels more like it has some Gothic infrastructure and just architecture. Feels a little bit more, but then you get to the town itself and it's Whoa. very warm. No. Wait, what? It's rebuilt? I mean, how much time has passed? It would make sense that they rebuilt the entire town, right? You know, this is kind of messed up. I don't know if this is, I don't think this is intentional at all, but the Nibelheim's logo, like where it says Nibelheim, I get it, I think it's supposed to mimic the mountains but it almost looks like flames. Like if you think about art and how flames are done, I don't know if that was, it almost looks like it's saying like Nibelheim's gone up in flames. It's probably just me. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought. Nibelheim's completely rebuilt, down to every single ounce? Did Shinra rebuild it? To Come cover on. it up? Look at this. There's no dust. It's... Brand new. It's... Brand new. Hmm... They rebuilt the whole village. Exactly as it once was. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. Thought Cloud might have lost it again. <clears throat> I mean, I thought he got us lost. Because it looks different. So, who do you think rebuilt it? Shinra, to cover up? Shinra. Mm-hmm. There's Never no... Never mind all that. We've got a terminal to fight. Kate, always the positive one. <laughs> That's so weird, though. Hey there. Strange, this right? Here to visit someone. This is where they keep the patients. This is. Do they the even talk about it, though? About some business here. Do you think the people here don't even talk about the fire? Do you think they removed all the people who remember the fire? And this is like. Do you think they got Tifa's room oh. down to? Exactly what it once was. All right, I take I take back what I said about there not being a lot of to walk around for their health and well-being. Wait, what? Our patients. What do you want? Have they been all coming to this town? Our patients. 
There's a ton of them just hanging around here. Okay, yeah. There's so many. Some of the patients have started talking. They're all scanning them. It's almost like each human has their own black robe man. This is weird, right? Still no idea what triggers their spasms? None. The medical team is at a complete loss. They can't have that many people on their medical team. As if our current patients weren't enough to deal with. More sick people keep wandering in from outside the village. Okay. Where are they even coming from? Okay, so they're just out of the goodness of their heart taking care of them. Is she trying to communicate with it by doing the same kind of talking? Planning on building a new facility for the patients. What do you say we push for a hot spring? <laughs> How long have they been coming here? I doubt we'd run a step at a time. Until recently, they used to stand around all day doing nothing. They're becoming more active huh? as they're getting closer. That was just like the beginning. Those kids just remind me exactly like it. It almost feels like I'm in a simulation. <laughs> it's nice to at least see kids playing around. Some people are wandering up here. There's more. What is this guy doing? Way back in the day. It's just relax. She's from. Like None of the buildings look like I remember. Where did all the people who used to live here go. They yeah. Well, obviously after the village burned down, they probably left, and then Shinra rebuilt it. And then, do these buildings really look that different? They feel the same to me, but maybe they are different. I keep asking who moved where, but no one. No one tells tell me anything. anything. Just relax. You're all right. I'm surprised. How would they deal with that, even if they moved people around? Oh my gosh, that's a kid. No, it's not. But that soldier looks so small. It's like a small statured soldier. We're doing what we can to help those guys get back on their feet. It's never enough. There's so many. Oh my gosh. Um. Is Cloud's house the same? Oh shit. The robes out here. Yeah. And look. Locals. locals. How would they stop? There's a lot of medical locals, just saying. She recognizes they us? They aren't quite the same, Maybe. are they? Mm. Hello there. Can I help you? Supervisor. Greetings, good sir. I am a proud employee of Shinra Resorts. And since I was nearby, I thought I might pop in and check something on the company database. And your companions? Oh, they are... <laughs> they are... I used to live here until... you know. I see. He's probably taught and what to do. are you aware of what Nibelheim is now? Nope. No idea. Uh, five years ago, Shinra assumed direct control over this village. It now serves as a treatment center for Mako poisoning. Wow. All property rights have been transferred. That's rich. If that's why you're here, contact special facilities at corporate. They'll be able to help you. Very helpful. Thank you, sir. Ah, but the database. I'll not be a wee minute. Uh, uh, I'm sure you're eager to see your hometown, but please don't stay too long. I mean, I yeah, so they hide it away in Nibelheim because nobody vacations to Nibelheim. They probably don't get many visitors. So they are trying to cover up essentially and treat all of these people that have been, this is what's to come of anybody who serves as a soldier. It's, um, I think it's the whole notion that 
he dreamed of becoming that up there on that water tower he dreamed of getting out of this town and becoming i guess i think back then really even then he knew that he wanted to be a soldier and this is what becomes of you it's shameful it's just it's even thinking him coming back with Sephiroth and everything that took place and for them to just I, I think like it's fine create a treatment center but to recreate it to look almost identical to what happened before the fire is just somehow also I feel like disrespectful and then are the people who grew up here just supposed to never return and I guess there's no longer Cloud and Tifa's house I don't know <sighs> there's nothing here you know I, I guess main scenario of the village changed. Yeah, I guess I'm going to keep on the main scenario. I know there's a lot of different things to do, but there's snaps. Well, the destination's right here. Let me go over here. I can't catch a break. No need to wear yourself out. Let's rest. If only things could always be so peaceful. Hmm. So you do have other employees, or maybe they're all Shinra employees that live maybe in the village and occupy it. Easy, but it is yeah, and maybe some of them are just on off time, like some of them are just off for the day. Where did Kate go, though? Nibelheim Town Hall. I don't even know if I ever went into the town hall to begin with. There's the Shinra database that he's talking about. Why not visit some of your old haunts while you have the chance? You never know. You might remember something nice. Okay. I understand this must be confusing for you, but I don't know anything either. I just go where the company tells me, that's it. Mm-hmm. It's exhaust. So what's the story here exactly? Because for a cat, he has an awfully high level of clearance. It's more than a little suspicious. Trust no me, I don't fully trust him either, but... Access what he can. Do you think... I'm like almost wondering if the guy that's helping us on the inside is also Kate somehow. I know that's crazy. <coughs> but I feel like I could see it. I understand this. I just go where the company I also me agree that it feels a little crazy how much clearance he has. Hmm. This must be like the bank, town hall, everything. There's a Queen's the Bud player. We provide here are strictly for the benefit of our residents. Really? The drinks, all of the decor, look at the birds. There is needs to move in with me. I know you allow that for immediate family. Like I told you before, by the time we finish running our mandatory background check, your term here will already be up. Wow. Okay, so He's trying to just get his immediate family to come live with him as he's taking care of the Mako poison, which granted, they probably don't want a lot of, they probably want the least amount of people coming into contact with Mako poisoning. On my salary so I can send her the gills she Aww. needs. All contracts are paid out at the end of the term. I can offer you a loan. Wow. But I guess you can only probably come here and help them for a certain amount of time. Like maybe it's it's probably like it's giving me like nursing contracts, like travel nursing almost ideas. But that's I was wondering why they don't. Yeah, I feel like they should have more people checking in anybody who enters into the village. I'm surprised we were able to just like waltz on in. Brave enough to slack off with me. <laughs> well, I'm already here, so I might as well do this. <laughs> well, I don't know how it's gonna go, but card player, do you? It's no use denying it. Where's my? Slacking off because you want to play queen's because you're just like me. I won't tell if you won't, comrade. The name's Turner, the top truant. I might die here, but screw working. I'm all about playing hooky. You'd be hard pressed to find anyone who's better at it than me. I can tell because we just waltzed on in here. Emotions. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Um, I'm not gonna do it right now, but you're not gonna blow off work with me. No, I am going to stay strong and ignore it and go explore this town and get down to the bottom of it. Let's see what this message board has. Esoteric secrets of the elders. 
The chocobos are lovely creatures, but they can be handful if you don't know the proper techniques. I offer personal training tailored to your specific needs. Sign up now for a special course at my luxury retreat at my treat retreat, which includes three meals, afternoon naps, and luxurious pool open all hours of the day. The Chocobo Sage. I'm going to accept it, but okay. I want to keep exploring all of these people, but real quick, I'm going to run to the bathroom. Ah, oh, this is, it feels like I'm in a dream. It's weird. Right, yo, let's get back to it. Reunion. So we have a couple of side missions. We've got the Chocobo Sage's request. Wise. Oh, that's somewhere else. We've got a couple of Queen's Blood players. But I think more than anything, I just want to keep exploring the town and kind of talking to all of my teammates. Is this the doctor's? This used to be my house. Now it's the doctor's? You certainly don't look ill. Treatment center. If you are feeling unwell, though, wow. you'll have to wait. We need to tend to our current patients first. Mm-hmm. Fair enough, but... You might have noticed how some of our patients have... Yeah. Dale! Queen's blood. Wait. Oh, somebody's no kidding play... Wait, what? <laughs> wait. One of them just wants to play Queen's blood? What? <laughs> Dale just wants to play Queen's Blood. All right, Dale, will you stay there? I'll I'm come not back. Sure why that is myself. Maybe it's to mark ones with different symptoms. Who would have been doing the marking? If that's what you're guessing. Maybe this used to be Tifa's house. This was Tifa's room, not my house. My house was the one next door. Yeah. Oh. This was her room. I never understood it. Why'd my dad go into the reactor? Why chase Sephiroth? He did die. I thought about it ever since waking up in Corral. It just seemed like such a bad idea. I mean, what did he think he was gonna do? Fight a famous war hero and win? Try to well, save his daughter. But after moving to Midgar, after making a life for myself, I finally realized where my dad was coming from. He was angry. And he'd had enough. Everything he'd worked so hard for had been destroyed in an instant. Yeah. All that he'd built for himself, for us, gone. Sephiroth had burned it to the ground. That's why he went, even though he had to have known how it'd end. Hmm. You see. And like him, I took my pain, my grief, everything I was feeling. I took it all and turned it into anger. Anger that led me to Avalanche. <laughs> right. The problem is, anger doesn't last. So when Avalanche started to become more violent, there wasn't enough left to hold back the fear and the doubt. It was taking a toll. Then you turned up. Oh, like it was fate. Have I helped you get through it at all? Have I helped you get through it at all? Yeah, you have. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had the courage to come back here. Hmm. A lot's happened, but now that we're here, I know this was the right decision, because now I know they rebuilt everything, tried to sweep yep. what they did under the rug and pretend it's it never even happened. But I won't let them. I can't. Sephiroth and his cruelty. Shinra and their lies. I'm sick of all of it. As she should be, as she has every right to be. This is, I mean, look at this. Th this room is not that different. In fact, I'd love to see the comparison. I mean, I think maybe it's more neutral colors in here, possibly, but this is so similar to how our room was. Hey, remember when we were kids? How you'd, you know, always be looking at me? I, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Every time we made eye contact, you'd look away. And when I tried to talk to you, you'd ignore me. He liked you. I'm surprised. I was a pain in the ass as a kid. <laughs> that was the opposite. I needed everyone to like me all the time. Part of me still does, I think. I kind of hate that about myself. Hmm. That's such an interesting realization. I mean, I think I think when you're a people pleaser, you very quickly know you're a people pleaser and how you like navigate and go through life. Sorry, I'm gonna make sure. Um 
but I like that she's at least aware of it, you know? I feel like a lot of the characters, I think one of the things that, although there is this more childlike kind of charm about the game, all of the characters, they really take ownership of their emotions and feelings and they're very well-rounded. And I, I really do enjoy that about each of them, like exploring how well they also know themselves. Gotta get it together. <sighs> Gotta get it together. Okay. Well, we can play on the piano. Ruby Red Sunset. From Cosmo Canyon? Corel. Oh, it's Corel's Red Rocks. And then there was the Emerald Sea. Okay, there might be a new song. Let me see. No, no new song, but... Should I try two legs again? <laughs> no, but I think... Uh, part of me wants to do Tifas again, but no, it's okay. We have a lot of stuff to do right now, and I don't think it's the time. It's the same piano, though. It's wild. I mean, not the same piano, but... It begs the question, do they have pictures of what it looked like here before they did the rebuild? On these things, considering we're the ones who actually have to look after them. Mm hmm. So they get no training. They're sent to Nibelheim out of all this places. Strange. Sorry, guys. Very, very strange. Let's take a little break and try again, all right? There's probably a lot to well, now. head who chef. Ah, uh, that's right. You're the ones Nick was talking about. New in town, aren't you? No. Ugh. In that case, you ought to know better than to interrupt a busy chef, hmm? I can leave. No, no, I don't mind. Could use someone to talk to anyway. Then again, I sense you're not much of a chatterbox. <laughs> not quite. So this is what happened to my home. <laughs> My cooking's like <laughs> nothing. Now don't you go picking on them. No. Those poor folks have got it hard enough already. Mako poisoning? Yep, I'm no expert, but seems to me that there's two types of it. Hmm. Two or types. Maybe two types of patients. We give them sponge baths sometimes, and that's when I first saw... Number tattoos. Lots of them have these number tattoos. That, and needle marks on their arms. At least I think they are. Although, we do get the odd one that doesn't seem to have either. Wait, that makes it three types then. Or four? What needle marks? Could Hojo be experimenting with them? If I had to guess. Oh, from their treatments. The numbers. Got any idea what they mean? Or where they come from? Not a clue. Certainly gets the gears in your head turning though, doesn't it? Yeah, the fact that the numbers are happening tells me that maybe if you stayed in the soldier program, uh, kind of you volunteer, like we saw Roche volunteer for something. What if Hojo's, all of these are Hojo's test experiments? Like, a combination between the cellular degradation is happening to the soldiers, period. But then Hojo's testing treatments on them, not in like a good way, just I think in a trying to understand the Mako reactions in the body and the degradation and everything. And that's where these tattoos are getting placed on them. And then the needle marks from the treatment that maybe he's trying to inflict on them. I, I don't know. Uh, hello. Sorry, but we're busy trying to make food for all the patients. Oh. I wish there had been a... I know it would have been random, but I feel like there should have been a weapon for Cloud to pick up in his old home. Okay. All right, well, let's get back out of here because I don't think they have any knowledge that I really could use. There's Snaps and Yuffie. Yuffie. Looks like the reactor's not too far. No. Hey, Cloud, ever been up there before? Have yeah. we ever? Oh, have we again. ever? What was it like? Was there buttloads of Mako? What about, say, oh, Materia? Materia, girl. I'm gonna tell her, yeah. Yep. Some of them even form naturally. No way! Naturally? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I wonder if she's blue now. She is blue! Nice! We went from green to blue with her. Let's ask for some more. Yeah, but not right now. Red's up there too. 
What are we waiting for? That materia needs Is that me. the next way to... I think the main scenario is just to check on everybody. Yeah, before Kate's ready. Red? Something about that place doesn't sit right with me. You mean Shinra You and Manor? me both. Oh, sorry. No one wants to hear people badmouth their hometown. Yeah, it does kind of make you feel like crap. I never liked that place either. Hey, I'm with you. Never liked that place. Just looking at it gives me the creeps. I mean, I love Hopefully the architecture, the but... not using it anymore. <sighs> they probably are, is the unfortunate thing. Uh, come to think of it, it's kind of rude we keep calling them robed guys and stuff. They've got names, right? Not that they could probably remember. I keep asking myself, what could Shinra want with all these robed guys? That is the golden question. All right, we have to keep exploring the village before we can go to Shinra Manor. That is the golden question. Oh, they're still doing exercises here like before. What would Shinra have with all of the robed individuals? I, I can't even begin to guess. Other than testing Mako reactions on bodies if they were trying to create super soldiers. But it sounds like they kind of oh, did, right? By the soldier program. <coughs> Why don't you and those or maybe trying to cover up photo. for all of their experiments. Oh, me with the rope, guys. But new it location. Turns out that Shinra's in charge of the treatment facilities here. Mm -hmm. Getting permission to take pictures was not easy. All my I'm photos sure. will be reviewed. And if Shinra sees something they don't like, it's theirs. Just gotta impress those suits with some nice shots. If you find a good photo spot, don't hesitate to let me know. I do like how his story changes. Nebel, scenic spot. Where? Oh, that makes sense. That's gonna be beautiful, I bet. Prodigious. I don't have anything. Oh, wait. I'm always looking for new spots. I still can't believe I tried to say that. Oh, wow, there's All we do is bend over so few black rope men. What do we get? Grunts. Grunts. Here's the general store. Okay, we can buy what I'm, I need, which is two giga potions. Something. Wait, I might not be able to buy. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Yes, prehistoric beasts. The Disgorgon dragon and the Velum. <laughs> and the, the something, something dark side. Yeah, they don't sell it. They sell mega, mega potions, but not giga potions. I'll have to craft those. <gasps> I missed two weapons. What? Maybe I missed. I don't know. Resounding megaphone and mystic collar? How would I have missed those? Two new bracers, by the way. A stout bracelet that once graced the... The wee, the wee arm of the Dragon King himself. I'll go ahead and buy one of each because money. Garm as well. Those are good. Those are definitely good. Mm, nothing there that this I need. This isn't your home anymore. Remember that, all right? Rude much? Okay, I wasn't thinking it was. Jeez. All right, Red gets a new collar. The sass. All right, Red's got so many purples. ATB stagger, MP, HP, provoked, item master, lightning. Autocast, we're gonna want to switch this. Hold on, because this doesn't make any sense to have there. So then we're gonna want to put lightning here. Mm, max lightning there, and then we'll actually go ahead and give him something else. Maybe healing, you know, maybe, um, or we could finish this poison. I kind of, oh, poison and petrify. Who has poison and petrify? Nobody has poison and petrify. Let's keep it on that. And then wait, and then go down here. Let's do weapon ability, ATB recovery. I would say restores HP when activating vengeance mode. I like that. And I like increases the amount of HP absorbed. I like that too. And then Kate has a new megaphone. Wait. Resounding. Oh, okay, okay. Right, I'm going to lose one of the materia slots. Dang it. Mm, increases HP. I do kind of like that just because he's a little bit weaker than the rest. Just as far as HP goes. Moogle draws enemies attention more easily. I like that. And then we'll also throw on reduces damage taken. Ah. Increases duration of applied beneficial status effects. I'd say enhanced physical guard when I'm not like using him. Okay. And then we also have, oh, we have two new bracers. Hold on. 
Oh my goodness, my nose. So I'm using the Road Warrior Bangle, but let's go ahead and check out. There's the Big Horn and the Outlaws, but those aren't the two new ones. The two new ones are... Well, I do have Commanders as well, Snail Shell. These ones, right? Wait a minute. We've got this. Okay, the Garm is positive across the board. Six and three, five and two. Let's do Garm. I like that. And it will actually give me an extra. That's nice. Did we just, we just got that from this, right? Okay, so we have healing level boost, vitality AP up, fire and ice, lightning HP up, MP up. I want more, um, adds 8% linked elemental damage. Holy snap peas, hold on. Level boost, AP up on fire and ice. Oh, AP up is done. Fire and ice is maxed. Look, check it out. Fire and ice is maxed. So let's do here. Oh, this is good. Let's now switch over to doing elemental material right there. And then I'm also going to throw on assess. I need assess back on him. Oh, I don't have any more assess. I will take a Barrett's assess and put it back on cloud. And then holy cow, that's really good. Level boost for which I don't need anymore. So I can switch. Well, I need that, but I'm actually going to switch for her the elemental material as well. So lightning and wind from her will be far better. The chakra HP up auto unique. So let's see if we have an additional MP up. Hmm. I'm going to do strength up. Wait, let's do Barrett's MP up. And then I'm actually going to put strength on Barrett. Yeah. Let's see. I just took off one of his. So let's go ahead and put strength on. There's a couple new ones that I've gotten that I need to start using more. What was that jump? That's kind of fun. I like the idea of that. Strength materia up, and then he's got HP up and auto unique ability cast. And I'm going to just throw... Mm, I'm thinking... I'm not feeling any of these. Warding? No. Maybe another prayer. Well, prayer's still leveling up for him. Let's do the jump. Let's have fun with it. Oops, sorry. Yeah, let's try to do the jump and see what happens. Okay, I like that, except that Tifa, I'm going to give her a different bracer as well. She has this one, which is 20 and 42, but I think those most recent ones I scooped will be better, and I can apply some more materia on her as well. So this one will be actually better for her. The vara, the vara, the vara, the vara, something, something, dark side. All right, so she's got MP up, HP up, auto unique. Let's see what else we can really throw on her. I wish there was an option to see, can I prioritize equipped gear? There we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. So now I can see the ones that aren't equipped. I'm going to put fire on her just to have it. And then I'm also going to throw... There we go. Barrier, mm, wind, poison, no, gravity. I'm just going to throw a couple extras on there. All right, that's good for now. Somebody should be in here, right? Very similar. No, no dialogue with them. Here we go. We need to level up our characters, guys. Oh my gosh. So many people have so many new. Hold on one second. Yeah, we'll do a... Oh gosh. I just hope that I'm better in the next couple days. All right, Cloud has 15, so what can we do? We can do Limit Gauge increases the Limit Gauge charge rate by 5% upon successfully blocking. <laughs> Melee Blade. Let me tell you, he does need more things. Did you see that when we were fighting the one summon? I was not able to do synergy with a lot of characters. I feel like Cloud is lacking in synergy with people. MP recovery rate is kind of nice. Powerful Punisher. Limit Gauge Stagger. What else? This one? Limit gauge guard. You know what? I kind of like the idea of... Mm. United refocus. Maelstrom strike. I like that. Because Yuffie, I'm using Yuffie a lot more now. I like that a lot. All right, let's switch over to Tifa. Tifa's got 20. She has the ability to do United refocus with Barret. We can do MP recovery rate. Weapon ability increases weapon ability damage by 3%. Steadfast concentration activates concentration after being revived. That's kind of cool. But how often am I being revived, you know? Bodyguard. Bestial barrage. 
No, you know what? I'm gonna do... For her, we're gonna do... Weapon ability damage. And then we're gonna hold on to five points. Yeah. All right, Yuffie, now that I'm using her a lot more, I wanna see after blocking, no, 5% while guarding, no. Increases fire, ice, and wind damage, 100%. Now that I'm using, that was 20 SP too. Yeah, that's amazing with her, especially with her throwouts of, um, I think that counts when she's using ninjutsu. I'd imagine that's probably why it costs so dang much. Barret's got friendly fire. We've got icy impulse, scale. Increases defense by 35. Fiery, enhanced physical, reduces physical damage by 5% while guarding. my Icy and pulse scale. We're going to do defense up for him. I'm doing a lot of the passive abilities. Eris got a lot. I think I can level up twice with her. Enhanced magic guard, reduces magic damage by 5% while guarding. Nope. Max HP. Let's go ahead and increase her HP and then let's see what else we can do for her. Spellbound blast. That's kind of cool. Planetary Roar. That's fun. Aerith channels her magic through Red's Howl, unleashing a range attack across a wide area. I do like that, actually. Cold Front, Enduring Ward, increases the ward duration by 15 or reduces. Huh, slightly increases MP regeneration speed during battle. I like this. Planetary Roar. I really like these synergy abilities. Red. Red's got so many points. Hack and Slash. Snow Flurry, MP up by three, increases the Vengeance Gauge after being revived. Uh, I mean, again, how often am I being revived? We'll go ahead and increase that Elemental Defense. I do like that. And then reduces duration of Detrimental Status Affliction by 30%. Kind of nice. Increases MP. We'll do um, Call of the Wild, Tifa and Red tap into their inner warrior, decimate foes across a wide area. I'm going to hold off on that because I can get two other ones. So I'm actually going to do. No, so I'm going to do increases max MP by three. And then I'm going to do selfish recover. Mm, yeah, I'm going to do self. Mm, I think I'm going to do max MP up again by three. Have more MP for him. And then Kate, my dear, lovely Kate, recover HP when dealing damage with unique abilities to staggered enemies. We want anything that helps with elemental damage. Rolling Thunder, crit, I like that. Oh, that's gonna take up mostly everything. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait to be able to afford. Oh, well, I don't have enough SP anyway, but lucky slots. Press to align the reels. The abilities affect changes according to the result. That's cool. Oh, I didn't even think about these ones. Dang it, we need to start going down this path for Kate. Dang. Okay, that's okay, but for now, We've gone ahead and leveled them up as much as we can. I'm going to use a high potion on Yuffie. This is a little strange to me that we can talk to Aerith by our spot with Question. Tifa. This always been here? Yeah. yeah. It totally screams, climb me, doesn't it? So yeah. Let's give the poor thing no. what it wants and see the sights. Hey, don't just... <sighs> doesn't that feel weird? To have them have this moment? I don't know. So, and Tifa's looking out the window. Tifa's looking back. <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. It's not romantic. Don't say it's romantic. To look at this place, you'd never know. Mm-mm. Yeah. So, which one's your house? Ugh. That one. Yeah, the chef one. Oh, looks cozy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. She wasn't there. No, she doesn't don't worry know. About it. It's all new to you. That building right there is the inn, where I stayed five years ago. Five years ago, yeah. Five years. You got the town hall, the general store, and that there, Tifa's house. As she's looking out at us, at our spot. Oh...
So let me guess. This is where you kept lookout. <laughs> huh? Come on, you never came up here hoping she'd wave? Sounds like something I do. That's not funny. What? No way. Probably. Sounds like something I'd do. Your relationship with the Aerith has changed. If I was in your shoes, I would have been up here all the time. I'm gonna head down. Think I'm good where I am. I'll see you later. I wonder if even in the original there was always this kind of trio happening it's not a love triangle i don't even think that i mean Aerith will like jest about being a date but i almost wonder if that's because she can tell the discomfort that it puts cloud in but i think that there's probably to be fair like i think for the average person there's nothing really transpiring between tifa and cloud that would really indicate to another person that they are more than just friends i think we had that personal almost moment just us and I think after that, maybe Aerith's demeanor has changed because I think everything leading up to that, I don't I don't ever look at it like Aerith was stepping on Tiva's toes or anything like that. There's just a lot of unspoken things that um, have happened. And I think that it's why I love the little nodes. I guess I call them little nodes of love here and there because they know that there's something bigger than their love story happening right now. Like there's other things to focus on than this romantic situation i mean we have these like cutesy little moments right or even in part one when um oh gosh when Aerith comes out in you know her dress and all of these little beautiful things you don't forget that they're there you don't forget that there's the possibility but it just feels like they respect that there's other stuff that are greater than a romantic kind of option happening in that moment and i like that i talk about this a lot i got some hate for it because I didn't exactly choose a hard love path in cyberpunk. But a lot of times you guys will see me try to do playthroughs of a combination of what I would decide, like me, what makes it my personal playthrough, and then what I think the character would want to do or have. And so in something like cyberpunk, it was much more a representation of me. And so in that regard, I was like, considering everything that's happening, I just don't think I would start a relationship or try to go down that path. I think I'd be focused on the end goal and everything that's happening. If you know, you know, if not, and it probably sounds a little confusing, but yeah, I, I actually really like that about this game so far, that there's not this like forced, um, kind of ill-timed, in my opinion, situation. Although you could consider all of the mini games not the time to be doing, <laughs> not the time to be messing around in mini games and the gold saucer. We need to focus. It's just, um, it's sweet. So I can't wait to see how the rest of the story unfolds between all three of them. If you don't mind, I'd like to be oh. alone. Okay. Are you angry? Mm-hmm. Oh? At me? Not at you. At everything. Okay. Must oh, be nice oh. to have a friend you've known since you were a kid. Someone you can say, remember the time when? To someone you can reminisce with. I don't have anyone like that. And it feels like I'm being taunted for it, which stings mm. more than it should. That is why I want to be alone. Plus, I might take it out on you, and I don't want that. I don't mind. Huh. Well, I do, and it'd only make me feel worse. Thank you, though. Really. I'll be down in a bit. See you then. I never thought about how lonely Aerith has probably been growing up. Um, how she has, and yeah. Fresh air, peace and quiet. Not a bad place to grow up. I would love to grow up here. I know it's not the village you knew, but it's still nice. It's beautiful. Fresh air. Okay. Peace and quiet. That's all of that. Not a bad place to grow up. She has a lot to be angry for, and I think that... I like that moment right there too because she's again all of the characters they like take ownership they don't try to push off their feelings like she's very aware that if he were to stick around she'd probably pop off at him or something so it's like they take ownership of their feelings they don't disregard that they're feeling anxious or lonely or sad or whatever it may be they very much like own it and then 
handle it how they think they properly should. It's so sweet. Nothing to be afraid of. Zach. Wasn't that Zach? Whoa. Talk about a check-in. Welcome. Would you like a room? Welcome. Not right now, but thank you. There. They're everywhere you look. You don't really yeah. think that all these guys decided to get up and shuffle over here of their own accord, do you? Mm. Of course not. This is Shinra's doing. First, they raise a whole village because it suits them. Then they build a fake one right on top of it. We can't let those corporate bastards keep getting away with this shit. We gotta do something, right? That weapon does not look right on him. Not much we knew. I want to know why they put the ropes here. Woo! I just want to know what they're rounding him up for. Yeah. The hell if I know. Nothing good, though. Mm, our relationship changed. Let's keep talking. Listen, Cloud. I don't know what went down five years ago, but I'm here for you and Tifa. Whatever you need. Oh. If it's too much, just say the word. We'll leave. These boys are lucky they got us looking out for them. If Shinra tries anything, I'll make sure they don't succeed. Listen, Cloud. I don't know okay. if it's too much. Just say the word. Same, same. We'll leave. Oh. We saw Sephiroth here last time this was happening. What in the world? This was the room that Sephiroth was staying in with all of us. That floor. So, any friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? That's Zach. Of which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? What? Not interested? Zach was there that I'm gonna tell you anyway. five years ago. She's real pretty. No, beautiful. Kind of depends on the angle. What? She's just great to be around. What She's angle? Yep, real city mouse. A real city mouse. He was talking about Zach. Aerith. Zach Fair. Was here. From Gungaga. Head over heels for Aerith. We fought together. He's soldiers. getting memories back. Here with me five years ago, you came with me on the mission. But Tifa would have remembered him, right? And she said she didn't. This is good. Where are you? What happened to you? Guys, I think if we keep retracing our steps, we'll get more of our memories back. Yeah, memories received. But how are we getting things back? Is it something about just retracing your steps that's causing it to happen? Zach Fair. Missed Mega Potion. Zach Fair. Depending on what angle, I got so defensive for her. <laughs> um, a real city mouse. Wow, I never would describe Aerith as that. But to be fair, when he met her, of course. Absolutely. Wow. Okay, we need to check on Kate and then let me see. Wait, I thought there was a second room. Was there not a second door there? Maybe not. I think I had commented on that at the beginning. Wow. That is such a beautiful fireplace. But impractical too. Where is it coming? Wait a minute. Oh, wow. It's cup. Oh, oh. The smoke goes up the side and then wow. Okay. Huh. It's a furnace of some sort. We must be using it for something. Okay. Well, let's go back and check on Kate. I know we have a couple other things around, and normally I would be playing cards and everything, but for me, you guys, I just am, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I... I, I want to know more. Town Hall. I can't believe this! What? Oh. They don't have it. We have to go somewhere else. I should have known it was too good to be true. Yeah. 
I only have limited access from this console. Let me guess. Limited doesn't cut. We need to go to the manor. Nope. But all is not lost. The manor. Excuse me, good sir. Yeah. Would you be so kind as to grant us entry into Shinra Manor? Don't you have clearance for that? Oh, if only. I'm but a wee bottom feeder. Barely have clearance to use the bathroom, me. <laughs> be that as it may, I can't really? let you in there myself. You'll have to ask my boss instead. Meaning the deputy commissioner? Or the commission himself? Let's meet and greet. Deputy Commissioner Murasaki is up at the reactor, conducting an inspection for corporate. Huh. He's due back the day after tomorrow, but he hasn't been in touch to confirm. We need to go save him. Could be he needs more time. Uh, we can't afford to dilly-dally. Then we'll just have we to track him down. Agreed. I don't know. I love the Scottish accent. I love it so much. Okay, so prep to, for departure. We'll need to go find him. Okay. Oh, the whole squad's here. I think we talked to everybody we could have, right? Oh, those guys. So you're headed to the reactor, huh? Just like old times, some say. No luck at town hall. I take it. Hmm. Gotta get a key card. A guy named Murasaki has it, but he's inspecting the reactor. Mm. Well then, you'll need a ninja to accompany you. I'm coming with. <laughs> Me too. So the really? whole group. You sure? <laughs> Ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. <laughs> All right. You sure you can't argue okay? with that? We're going on a hike and getting a key card. How tough can it be? Do you remember the last You'll hike? Still be gone for a while. We lost sure somebody. There's nothing you need to take care of. I'm putting you in charge of provisions. Then make it snappy. My materia needs me. Wait, is he trying to head to it? We won't be back for a little bit. Should uh, hold on. I'm gonna hit no for a second. It says fast travel is now available. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this like the... So there's nothing up here. There's no kind of exploration of the area. There's only four towers as well. It's kind of freaking me out by telling me that I'm going to be gone for a little bit. So I know you guys are going to hate this, but I think we should go do these activation towers and all of the side missions and everything we can do now. Because this seems like it's going to propel us pretty far forward in the main story, possibly. Prefer departure. I, anytime that a game tells you, like, are you sure you want to do this? I'm a little bit apprehensive. So let's go ahead and spend some time to go back and retrace our steps. I know at some point in time, it would probably give us the ability. Don't get me wrong. Like, I know we'd have the ability to explore this later on, but I like the idea of kind of clearing this up right now. And it will be fun. We'll get to explore and see all that Nibelheim has to offer. And it will be right quick. So let's start by doing this activation tower, heading this way. We'll get some good materials for it too. I know that might seem like an awkward break. Um, but yeah, I don't like it warning us. I get nervous. I should have done it while we were waiting for Kate, but I figured I would talk to everybody first. Those are far down there. Don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. Hold on. Everybody back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Jump up. All right. We've got some guys over here. Activation tower. These must be the guys guarding it. There's only four towers, too. So strange. Oh, we need to switch. Wait a minute. Mm. We need to change our different characters. Oh, shoot. Get him, get him, get him, get him. And Bridal. She also has ATB boost too. There we go. Hit him up, hit him up, hit him up. Rise and fall, rise and fall. Nice. We need to switch over to... Do I see a Mog stool? I do. I do, I do, I do. Combat settings. Let's go over to... I'm just going to make it on... Wait, there it is. Oh, it's Kate and Barrett. That's right. Let me switch here. Hold on. There we go. Okay, we need to use them so they can level up those weapons. Get that that boost. Okay, so we can't get to it from or on foot, but we can get to it from here. So if we swim in the water, like it said, wait, hold on. My nose is picking something up. 
Rapids? No, no. Oh, posh stop. Rabbits? No. Somewhere else entirely. There's a lot of chocobo stops considering where we are. Doesn't it feel like there's a lot? Rabbits. Mm. I'm hoping we can explore all of this and possibly get to the reactor today. This wasn't where the stop was. Oh, it's this way. Oh, I see it. Oh, wow. This is nice and hidden. Beautiful location. I mean, the flowing water in this region. I like it. Hello. I know. Okay. Let me pop off. Good morning. Good morning. We need to go up there. The music here. It feels very intense. Like, you know, it's building up to something. But I think this is good because I feel like once we start this next segment, I mean, this is where we began, right? Like there's going to be a lot that we're going to uncover, I think, on our hike. There's got to be something with Sephiroth. I don't think he's here, but I bet you the black materia lies somewhere near us. Maybe a little bit further north, but still. I sense it's close. All right, let's pop over here. I think we're going to get to travel by boat eventually because there's a lot of is it just me or have the shipments, shipments. Been dropping in quality lately? Mm. Using cheaper goods. Yeah, the material is just not what they used to be. Is that a station? No. The port. Okay, well, let's go test this thing. Look at all the fish. Okay, so... We need a choco jet. Wow. So when we're over any kind of water, we can jet like this? What? What? Whoa. Oh, 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 there we go. And it's all stemming from that stuff. That's so cool. It's using the water. These are some magical chocobo. Wait, is it gone? Did we use it once and then it goes away? Hmm. There's a factory over there too. Only four Remna wave towers. It seems so... I mean, I think normally there's five, but still. The islands. All right, we got the Chocobo stop. We went to the port. Oh, there was a life spring right there. Okay, we definitely want to go to the mog stool. Yeah, it's such a small... Such a small location. Okay, I should just be able to hop down if I have my chocobo. Oh, I can hop down right here. Hmm. I know. Okay, I see it. I see the life spring. Fine, we'll go over there. We'll go over. So I should just be able to... Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, whatever. Just grab them all. There we go. That's so cool. You can do it over any body of water. It doesn't just have to have the, like, boost up. The boost up things. This will give us good information on the area, too. Nebel. All right, what do we got? There's only two life springs here as well. So strange how little is located here. Or sorry, there's four life springs. I saw two of something. Mount Nebel and the birth of Mako energy. Yes, the birth of Mako energy, right where it began. There's something different about this area. It is said that beyond the desolate, jagged crags of Mount Nebel lies the land of the dead, and few dare to approach its slopes. Indeed, even plant life struggles to find a foothold to here. Here, not there. And with tumbling boulders and rock slides a constant threat, the locals see little reason to make such a perilous journey. Many of the mountain's caves are filled with Mako vapor, and the inner reaches contain Mako springs and naturally formed materia. Shinra's research for a new energy source led them to Mount Nebel, and its abundant supply of Mako made it the ideal site for the world's first reactor. 
Although it played an instrumental role in the proliferation of Mako energy, the Nebel reactor's time in the spotlight was brief, and it now operates at greatly reduced capacity. This is what I was thinking, there were only two um, about this region. Wow, okay, it does remind me of the size of Junon. Yeah, because Junon didn't have that much either. All right, let's head over to that Mog stool. I guess I have to go over this way. Get down, jump down. I guess I can jet over here. <laughs> Look at this. I'm a jetting chocobo. This is honestly peak form of travel. Okay, where is that? I smell it. Ah! I know, it's over here. There, rabbits. Rabbits and Mogstool. Hmm, not even close. Oh, it's, um, it got disrupted by the... I have to spell more, yeah. I think I'm on top of it. Okay, I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm right by it. But it's so finicky. There we go. We need to transmute some stuff too, because I think I got a little bit more. Maybe. I need to make one more Giga Potion. Okay, I can craft a couple more Giga Potions. How many do I need for mist? I need two more, so let me just craft um, two. Oh, but then I ran out of planted spirit because I was crafting them. Dang. I'm gonna go ahead and make celery. Easy peasy. Can now trans, wait, wait. This item now requires less to transmute, yeah. Let's see. Bracers are gonna take up a lot more. Do I have any upgrades? Enhanced warrior bangle, but I don't have the required goods. And that, but what did it say? I need specifically planet spirit, which I can't craft. I don't think. No, planet's mercy and favor and all that. Mm-hmm. Okay, glide, glide. Those legos. Honestly, the like? mog store. Am I making up mog store? No, it is called the mog store. Okay, I was like. <laughs> I kept being like, am I making this up? Do, 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 do. I, ho I hope they weren't kidding. I hope this isn't the last one, but it might be. All right, flashbang out. Look away. Please bring back all the mooglets for okay. me, Koopo. It's going to be the most difficult one. Three minutes, mischief level seven. <sighs> All right, I'm throwing you in a tornado, and then we're going to talk about it. Come here. <laughs> Ow. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. Don't you dare throw anymore. Get get in that tornado. Get up. Get it. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Okay. Can I run with him? Moki. Moki's so mischievous. All right, Moki's going to get... Let go. Push, push Mookie. Push Mookie. Mookie, Mookie. No, get in there. Don't you dare. All right, you two, no. No. Can I not? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going over here. I'm going to get Molala, but I think I'm going to lose because of the time. I'm just going to fill that up just in case. So I gotta get behind Malala. Malala? Don't do this to me. Malala, don't you dare. You guys stay right there. I'm not gonna do it in time, because I gotta get it like behind them. Okay, get 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 in there. Get in there. You get in there. Get in there. Oh! Ah! Shoot. Mosh. Don't don't dance. Get in there. You too. Let me. All right, look here. Get. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> They're so, so vicious. No, I want to go again. I want to go again. I got played. Two for one. Lower the difficulty? No. Four hit limit? No, I can do this. You lose one time and they say, do you want to lower the difficulty? No, I don't. 
All right, you go over there. Don't you dare. Got him. Run with him, run with him. Moki. Okay, I'm gonna get Mosh before Mosh ends up with Malala. Cause Malala's kind of. All right, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Banana's out. Banana's out. Oh, come on. Moki, don't do this to me. Ah! Moki, get in there. No, Moki, get in there. Moki. Moki. Oh, Moki. <sighs> Mosh. I hate how they can also throw it once you even have them in there. Like, they still begin to throw. Okay, Moki is... Mosh is done. Malala. I'm gonna get him in this. Get in the tornado. Come here. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. Okay, go, 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 go. Nice. Okay. Two in a minute and 44 seconds. I'm gonna go like this way. Come here. Get over there. Get, get over there. There we go. Great location. Great, great. Get in there, Moog. Nice. Moog's done. Oh my gosh, I'm dodging everything. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Molulu. I swanted me, Bob. Get in there. Get go over there. Go. No, Malulu. Malulu's so mischievous. I. Thanks so much. That better be the last time. I. You're a true hero. Every single emporium is once again open for business, Kubo. It was Mog and Mag's hope so maybe there's other ones, but would bring happiness to folks all throughout the, the last world, emporium. And that dream lived on, passed down to their children and their children's children, and so on for <laughs> countless generations. I mean, one day these Mooglets will inherit that legacy, like those before them, and run oh, it as mischief. Forget. I have a super duper amazing present for you to thank you for all your help. Okay, that's who it is. You're gonna love it. They're not gonna be as mischievous when they run. What? Kupo? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. The little Buster Sword. Kupo. Kupo. Go on now. Be good host and show our guests how it's done. <laughs> My little wings. I'm so chonky. I love it. They're going to teach me to fly. Please tell me I can turn into a mog anytime. The Moogle powers. Really? You got this. Flap those little Zubat wings. <gasps> I'm falling flat. I'm falling flat. I'm falling flat. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Last minute. <gasps> we did it. Koopo. Koopo. Him saying Koopo. I can't. Koopo po. <laughs> oh. Great formation. Beautiful. That's a tight formation. Look at that turn. Execution. with my little buster sword. <laughs> I love it. And I'm like the original uh, pink little pom-pom. So what did you think? Not bad, Koopo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was cute. That was really, really cute. <gasps> A stuffed Moogle. I want the entire collection on my like well, above my fireplace, honestly. Moogle, Moogle lover. And I will continue our efforts to spread joy all over the that world. was so cute. Also, <laughs> we found a bunch of rare and exotic yeah. items you won't want to I guess out on. Come see for yourself. At Kubo. this point, I should buy everything because I'll continue to get Moog points. But Highland Moogle, the Highland Moogle. Okay, let's buy everything we can until we're out Welcome, of Kubo. coins because we're not going to get another Emporium. So we might as well. Secrets of the Ninja. Nice. Also, Sharpshooter's Companion, Moogle Amulet? What does this one do? 
Increases the probability enemies drop items when defeated in battle. Buying. Done. And then we just have a lot of other stuff. I'm going to buy a sapphire. I'm going to buy an emerald. I have so much money. I'm buying a ruby. And I'm buying an ether. I <laughs> just, I want it all. Wait, I think that's good. Over here. Drop back Bye. Well, I did it at the hardest difficulty too. So I didn't have to turn it down or anything. So I think we're really done with them. Unless I want to go back and buy more stuff. Let me see with the gems that I got. Are there any items I can craft now? Probably not. Probably not, but that's okay. That was really cute. <laughs> Koopo. All right, let's hop and skip down here. Let's go ahead and get back here and let's go do some island hopping. Now that I know I can do this, the sky is the limit. Look at this. Look, I can go over here. Boxes, random stuff. Look at this. Plop. And rabbits. This whole Choco Jet is the best thing. Eat the onion. Grab some items over here. Let's grab this. And there's actually, wait, I think you could have, wait, no, we just have to drop down. And then we just jet off. Let's go over there. And those jets will push you up even higher, but I'm gonna go ahead and explore over here. Look at the algae on the side. I wonder if you can climb up it. Kick him. Get him. Oh, this is so cool. Moogle medals too. All right, this will, I think, push us even further up, right? Wait, what is that? Oh, wait, tufts of choco grass. They're not, um, I keep thinking that they're gonna push us up, but that's not what they are. They're things for my chocobo. I wonder if it's for a mission to collect them all around the region. Ah! Cliffs of abjuration. Abjuration. Okay, so there's three total. I thought that was going to push you up higher. Exploration couldn't be as cool as it is in this area. This has got to be the easiest and the most enjoyable. Okay, let's go grab. There's some boxes down there on this beach. Oh, and what is that? Wait, we're near a... Wait, drop. Nice. Okay, we're near... Look, we got to go in there. Yes, we're near um, one of the places for... We might find stuff without even activating the intel towers, guys. <laughs> Look at our whole squad. I think we just need to jet up. Should show us we need to go up. Yeah, up here. Slumbering within the Nebel sanctuaries is Odin. The patron Odin. knight of war and death. Mm. He rides in from the land of the dead, astride his steed to sleep near, claiming the souls of fallen nice. warriors as his own. Or so the story say. Odin. Trying to remember again Odin in FF16. Odin in FF16, I should know. What the heck are those? Nope. But is this an intel time? Is this an intel gathering? This has to be. Right? You know what? It's not, and so I'm gonna wait until it is actually like an intel gather spot thing. Something, something dark side, you know? Because we might have to kill them for something else. I mean, at a minimum, I know I'm going to have to scan them. But I'm wondering if you don't have the... No, you can stumble upon it accidentally. Oh, wow. That was amazing. Actually, yeah. You definitely can stumble upon it by accident. Five Moogle medals. So I think I need to go a little bit higher. Or you just continue going this way. Wait a minute. Oh. Nice. Tough of choco grass. Oh. Gotta shake it off. It's confusing navigating these. Mmm. There's more. I feel like I should take them out. I think we should do it. Because we need to scan it anyway. No, this is different than the... Discord. Wait a minute. This is actually one of our new cards. Alright, let's ride. Hold on, we've got new abilities, so let's make sure Watcher's Spirit is two. Wow. Okay, I was wondering if he was I even like... This. Taking... Was he just taking our attacks, you know? Moogle Mine. Let's test that. 
Okay, Frost is what it's weak to. Dragons that possess venom sacs in their cheeks and jaw. They will inflate these organs when threatened, spewing the toxic substance secreted therein as a means of self-defense. The wings on their back have a drift to the point of no longer supporting flight. Oof. Destroying their jaws when they are poisonous haze will interrupt the... Oh, okay. So interrupt. Gotcha. Will interrupt something, something dark side. Over. Toxic shot, that's what we gotta interrupt. Wait, no, the poison. The poison is what you have to interrupt. Okay, let's do this. And then let's test out this new... This is gonna be really nice. Hold on. Okay, this is gonna be cool. This freeze should be really good now that it's level 3. And let's do a Moogle Mine again. The ratio. I should get some big heals from Siphoning, too. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, look, I completely healed back. Red completely healed from the siphon. That was cool. Here it is. Odin Sanctuary. Where are we? Three. Only three. Which I think is the least we've seen. I know we've seen a couple fours. I don't think we've seen any that needed five, but three's got to be one of the least. Who was Odin? X circle square triangle X circle square triangle X X circle square triangle X square X circle square triangle X circle square triangle okay so it's kind of like boom 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 Okay, so boom, 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 boom. Okay, this is not going to go well at all, but we'll see. All right. X circle square X. Nope. Okay, that was a... Okay, nope. That's okay. We'll just go again. Triangle. Right, retry. All right. X circle square triangle X. Circle square triangle. X circle square triangle. X circle square triangle. X. What? Oh, I'm missing it. I missed it. Okay, we're kind of getting it. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be bad, guys. X circle square. X circle square triangle X circle square triangle. I'm not going to get this. I'm going to have to write this down. There's no way I can do this. X circle square. X circle square triangle X square circle square. Never doubt yourself. Wow. <laughs> I think almost like your muscle memory kicks in, like even after like two seconds. I call it muscle memory like the two times that I did it correctly. Not like on, but like when I was just tapping it around. Analysis I guess. complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Perfect. Then we'll have most of the people that I actually remember. Again, who was Odin? Oh, Odin was I remember now. Odin was the one of the one of the well, one of the protagonists, but um specifically I remember. I don't remember his name, but yeah, yeah, I remember him now. Like who I fought. It was late game, late game. Yeah, he was a badass. Also bad, but... Look at this beach. And drop. Get the tough. I'm not sure what I'm getting from getting all these toughs, but I like it. I like it. I'm gonna grab this one. And fall. And then there's maybe something over here to grab? I guess we should go ahead and head to the intel spot. Let me go over here. This is going to be our arena, if I had to guess. I'm going to take a wild guess and say this is probably where we're going to have to fight something. Vicious and delicious. Mmm. Kick it. Okay, let's go get the materials out here. This will be when we're done collecting all of our life springs, I want to say. Life springs. We're just kind of going everywhere, and we're gonna see where 
See where it takes us. There's a lot of islands. Grab this tough. Okay, let's get the ones around this side. <laughs> My whole squad! <laughs> That's probably one of the most enjoyable things. <laughs> <coughs> oh. I love it so much. You know what? We haven't had to craft, like, any cushions either. Fly, my... <laughs> fly, you fools. Okay, there's something down there. <laughs> but first, I have to not laugh. Laughing so it gets my, um... My coffee acting up. Okay, there's a bunch of creatures over here that we're going to want to hit. Let's go ahead and get this intel spot. Because that will help us know. I want to make sure we get every single tough. There's a chocobo stop. Do 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 Hello, little posh chocobo. I guess this episode, the rest of the episode will probably be me finishing up Nifelheim. Just so, or Nebel. I keep saying Nifel. Uh, Nebel. Nebelheim. <laughs> yeah, just if you're looking for more of that story progression that's not tied to the intel, I would say next episode for sure. But I think that this will kind of put us in at a good stopping point. We gotta get Snaps' location too. That should be up here. I think that's up around the side. This is awesome. A lot of my favorite locations or favorite times are when we're just sitting here kind of like exploring around too. So this is it for me. Like this is so much fun. I think there's another stop over there. Oh, I see a life spring. Beep. Beep. Hold on. Hold on. I got a inch over there. That is not a location. That's our location we need to go to. We'll go over there first and then we can always fast travel back. Although I kind of want to just travel like this the whole way. <laughs> These chocobos are coming in handy. Drop. There's got to be something from collecting all of them. Okay, I think there might be a life spring over here. Tucked away somewhere. I'm gonna grab this real quick and drop. Nice. Perfect execution. Okay, this should show us everything in the area. Unfortunately, our chocobo can't take us all the way up. Two of these, two of these white caps. White cap reef tower. Alright, so they are mostly weak to. Mm, I gotta go, let's ride. They're mostly weak to freeze, which is perfect for Mr. Kitty. I'm gonna go ahead and activate this mine. Again, we're trying to max those weapons so we can go back to using my favorite characters. Okay, let's do. Watch your spirit. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought I saw. I did, I did. Let's be I thought so, Don't yeah. I saw like a chocobo, uh, chocobo plushie. Okay, this is gonna be awesome. Just give it a second. Okay, now let's do spells. Blizzard, level two. And he has that magnify, which is perfect. Look at that chocobo. Look. The chocobo is stuck. I think the chocobo plushie is stuck. I don't think it's supposed to be lasting that long. Okay, here we go. Let's do this again. Watch your spirit. And for its mount, there we go. And then let's do Moogle Mine again. <laughs> That's awesome. That that definitely got stuck in the map. Silent Slam. And that it. Oh no, it went away. It was stuck for a little bit though. It was absolutely stuck. Those, all of the chocobo plushies, I'm sure they sell them somewhere. It's gotta be on like Etsy or something. Time to find every chocobo or every plushie. There's so much over there too, but at the same time, like we, we really have covered a lot of ground fast. Like this is not gonna take a long time at all. I reckon it'll be another hour and a half to get all of the things we need to for this region, which is pretty good. A lot of the region collection episodes have taken like five to six hours. Snaps' location is where we're at. Life Spring? Yeah, Life Spring and... Oh, you know, it wasn't even... White Cap Reef Tower collected. Also, mm, we're almost done with all of the towers already. That's 
that's so weird. Two more, or three more life springs, two summons, and combat assignments. Yeah, there's not nearly as many animals um, or creatures in this region as some of the other ones. <sighs> Snaps' location should be accessible by water, I think. If I had to take a guess. I'm going to have to go down here first, though. I can't just, uh... I can't jump on her and jump off, I think. Come hither, dear. Selena. Okay, so let's go around. Here we go. Beautiful. I don't think Snaps is part of the intel gathering, though. I feel like those shots are kind of... Uh, the, the toughs are kind of... Well, I guess it's part of it. It's part of it. All right, let's hide party. We're going to zoom in. Again, it's so dang bright. I think over here, I want to go like here. Right there? No, the water? No, I mean, none of this is really screaming gorgeous picture taking opportunity. I guess right there, maybe? I don't know. It's not my best work. Don't. Nibelheim. Oh! Let's bring that exposure way down. It's a little dark, though. Doesn't it feel dark now? Maybe one of the filters could help it. Ooh, maybe something more like black and white. Bluish. Blue hue. Not that blue. <laughs> that one's not bad. No. Uh. Okay, that's too blue. Something that says Mako. That says Mako. That's giving Mako. Okay. <laughs> it is what it is. I don't know. This one. No, 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 no. Okay, we need to go grab all of those little tufts for our Selena. But let me go grab these two while we're out here. I think it's this location. Yes. Then we might as well go grab the last tower and then just fast travel around. Okay, we have not fought one of those gargoyle bros. But I'm going to go up here first before we interact with it. Kick him. Nothing really to grab. I know, I see you. Do I need to go around the side? I think so. I think we need to go around this way. Oh, that's cool. You can kind of just glide down. So you can either do this or you can actually glide down. Okay. Where is he telling me we need to go? I'm going to drop down here, grab these, and then get out. So we don't have to fight him. Oh, uh, there's one of the... I'm just kind of randomly going around. There's no method to this. There's a Chocobo stop, which is nice. And then there's one of our Odin locations. Ah! I should have glided. Yeah. It's okay. This will be fine. Okay, round this. Go up here. We've got a posh Chocobo spot. Where are the Chocobo? Okay. They zoom to catch up with you. It's so adorable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what, little guy? I actually don't need to. I'm really sorry. Okay, fine. <sighs> okay, fine. Plus, I probably could rest. I think I did do a fight recently, so it's okay. I know. You're so cute. You remind me just like my cat. Cat-like tendencies. Plus, I want to use all my pillows by the end of the day anyway. Or the end of the game. Nice. HP and M MP fully restored. I wish there were different posters depending on the region on the Chocobo stops. That would be kind of like a nice small detail. Not that it's needed, and I know like a lot of people probably wouldn't even notice it, but I don't know. I think it'd be kind of a nice touch. Let me go out this far and go ahead and grab this. We'll go break these boxes too while we're out here. There's something nice about just free exploring and not necessarily going after everything, like just kind of looking for whatever you happen to find, you know? Wow, Stowaway Cove. There's three different treasures just here. This is awesome. And one more there. Smack it. We can buy everything the Mooglets sell. Stowaway Cove complete. It's just so much more fun this way. I'm gonna go over here and grab this thing. Well, we are here. 
but no, we're going this way. There's two more of those. Fly. <laughs> and this way? And this way. And this way? And this way. <laughs> and drop. Nice. I gotta go over there. That must be where one of the places are. Mm. Keep me flying and there. All right, I don't think there's any boxes in here. Nothing really for us to explore too, too much, but hold on. Let's see what's up on here. Nothing, nothing. Something, something dark side. Hold on right there. That, that thing. Beautiful. Now, there should be a life spring up here, maybe? Something. No life spring. Why would we need to go up here then? There's so. Oh. Excuse me, guys. Some kind of scenic spot. There is a life spring. It's up on the middle ground. So it would be like, um. Let me go up here. Up around here. It would have to bring you up high enough. I'm not going to be able to glide like that. Yeah, I'm going to have to go down here. Hold on. It would be like somewhere over here. There, there. Oh, so I was up here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think it's up at the very tippy top, right? Oh, is it down? Okay, let me fight these things. Wait, we need to fight them anyway. We haven't uh, found one of these. Mm. Kill the Nebel Wolf. Nebel Wolf is... Oh, ow! ow. Alright, Vengeance. Okay, let's do this again. Hopefully Watchers is almost done. Still not maxed? That is crazy. Alright, hold on. While he's getting pressured, let me go ahead and assess that Balron. Balron. Aerial creatures with four human-like limbs, they swoop through the air on enormous wings, putting the full force of their weight into devastating body slams, exploiting elemental weakness, so we've got freeze. Take the lead. Leave it to me. All right, let's do Moogle Mine. Oh! And then we're also going to hit him with a blizzard. Not on the wolf! Not on the wolf! Okay, that does not look like a nice charge. I do not like the look of that. Leveled up. Does that mean Kate's weapon is leveled up? Mm. Weapon ability mastered for Watcher's Spirit. And then now we just need to cast... I think I need to cast one more time, but let me just check. Materia items... No, Kate has one more, yeah. Probably one or two more, actually. I see you, buddy boy. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold on. Oh, it's down here. Oh, it's... Oh, and look. You're going to like this, little buddy. You idiot. Oh. You missed it. Get it. I hope this is feeding them somehow. They deserve only the best. Wow, look. Look at this. You would never know this is here. It's thriving, honestly. We need one more life spring to get new information on the location, too. Hmm. Life spring analysis complete. Ten more points. Almost halfway there. Already. This has been such a productive day. Oh, we're gonna have a bunch of Chadley things to do too. Cloud, by analyzing the LifeSpring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. It should be on a nearby island. Once they discovered Mako in the area, Shinra established an offshore outpost. Oh, but they've long since vacated the isle, so I doubt you'll run afoul of their forces. I think we've already been there. I think we've seen it before. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I bet it's down. Yeah, that little. Yep. Yeah. That was where we were kind of like running through and it just seemed too convenient to not have anything else. I'm coming. Oh, nope, nope, nope. 
Oh, no. Give me this. Give me this green. Do they respawn? Am I confusing this? Are they respawning? This is my excavation site. Right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're respawning. Hmm. One down. I'm gonna need to figure this out <laughs> fast too before I start. Oh gosh. All right, if I had to guess, there's probably gonna be one like over here. Inside of the hut. Doom, doom, doom. Oh, I Bring didn't it see on. it. Hold on, the poison gap was not there last time. Oi. Better shit, better shit, better shit. I'm gonna kill them all before I get to cast this. That, okay, there it is. Now the weapon's mastered. It's like, still not? Should be right. There. Dun, dun, dun. And then I think we have to go to the tippy top tower. It's probably the last one. Dun, 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 dun. Manifestation of the... <gasps> Do I need manifestation or the attire? I can only make one. But now I can do the Mist Giga Potion. Oh, I needed spirit. Not even that. Yeah, wait, which is what I made, right? Holy cow. All right, we need Astral Remnant and Planet Spirit. Ba -ba. Enhanced Resplendent, 39, 39, 30, 30. That's amazing. And then Expeditionary Metal increases limit level by one at the start of the battle. That's actually pretty good. Wow, there's some good stuff you can get. Okay, the last guy should be somewhere around here. Over here. Maybe even in this hut, actually. I bet. It's giving inside the hut. Dun, dun, dun. The Garm Bengal. Let's check it out. And another artifact unearthed, or three, technically. Three artifacts. Easy. <laughs> Red barreling in. Oh, let me check out this bracelet. Which one is this? Whoa, enhanced for the one that I currently have, by the way. And her advanced. The enhanced garm. Oh, right, right, right. That's what uh, Cloud is using. We need... I own this. Oh, gotcha. I need to make it enhanced first. And then, right, right, right. I'm gonna need more beast hide. Can I? I can't craft beast hide. No, beast hide is like a thing that you get. Yeah. All right, well, with that, I know we have more stuff with these islands, but I want to go to this big place. I want to find the last, um... Guys, I think they're respawning. I can't be sure. Oh, that's where we need to go for Odin. But I don't think I can actually get all the way up there. I think I'm going to have to go down here first. There's boxes down there. We'll probably have to go around. Yeah, it looks like a kind of like around the around the back way, you know. Oh, mushrooms, mushrooms. We've already fought those creatures before. I'm only looking to fight creatures that we haven't scanned. I'm not wanting for too much XP. I mean, any fight is a good fight, I guess, when you can get XP, but still. Okay, I don't think there's anything this way. But I do want to go up here. Oh, there is a path over there. Let's go this way first. All right, we're gonna have to do this fight. Kitty wallop. Fire and something. Oh, that thing's weak to ice. That's right. All right, let's go ahead and do blizzard on the these guys. Would be nice. Okay, well, he doesn't have blizzard anymore. <laughs> wow, holy cow. Sidewinder. 
What a uh, ATB boost just got improved as well. Okay, buddy boy, I think we have to go through here. Oh, perfect. I think the intel spot is on the other side of this mountain too. Like uh, where I saw the shack, the shrimp shack. This one seems too easy. Like it's too easy to acquire everything. Not this, not this. Square, square, triangle, tri see this is easy. Square, square, triangle, triangle, circle X, circle X. Square, square, triangle, triangle, circle X, circle X. I'm gonna fail the first time, but we'll see. Square, square, cir cir oh, uh, <laughs> exactly. I did it in the wrong location, circle X. That's what it is. All right, square, square, triangle, triangle, circle X, circle X. Okay, square, square, triangle, triangle, circle X, circle X. <sighs> square, square, circle, circle. It's triangle, triangle, isn't it? It's, ah! Uh, square, square, triangle, triangle. I said triangle and I did different things. Circle, X, circle, X. Square, square, triangle, triangle, circle, X, circle, X. Okay. Square, square, triangle, triangle, circle, X, circle, X. Whew. Third time's the charm for Odin. I've been doing this. Look at those quads. There's muscles that I didn't even know. I don't even think people have. Holy cow. And almost halfway. Chadley's gonna be so happy, yeah. He's finally not gonna like give us crap for not. Splendid synchronization. Let's hope our investigation of other Usually we take too long for him. Then we'll be able to face off Odin in this episode. Maybe, maybe. Okay, let's pop over here to the activation tower, which is right up the way here. This is where a lot of our a lot of the stuff is like right here. Perfect. Hop and a skip. That tower we've activated. Where's the tower really? No. Oh, <laughs> okay. I feel like there's not a lot of, I think what makes this feel a little easy too is there's just not a lot of creatures as well, but I think that's intentional due to how desolate it is. Like there's just not a lot that can thrive and survive out here. Well, let's just say they're all surviving, not thriving. Where, what am I trying to, is there something in the air? Oh, a Zuzu. <laughs> This is Zuzu. Fire, fire, wind. Do I have wind? I don't have wind, but I have not wind. <laughs> but I do have heat wave, so I can do that on the walls. My turn. Mm -hmm. I'll just do Sidewinder. And then for Cloud. Alright, let's do fire. Fira on the Nebel wall. Hey, oh wait, get him off me. Just you wait. I get my Moogle on you. Don't make me. Beat him up. Do the Moogle mine. We gotta get him down. We need to use Thunder. I mean, I could Thunder. It doesn't mean he won't be weak to it. Nice. Pressure, pressure. Drop kick him. Drop kick him. Get him. Nice. Let's ride! Drop kick! Get him! Kick him! I think we did all right back there. I think so too. I think that wasn't half bad. They do say that ain't bad. Alright, last activation tower. Then we'll just go scoop the whoop on the rest of the stuff and be on our merry way. Unless there's more in this area that we haven't discovered. Which does make me feel that way because how would there be enough lo oh well because I haven't done any of the fighting right? There's got to be more to it. Dun, 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 dun. There's a lot of uh, vegetables that I got to grab. Could be the other side of this, yeah. At least a fighting ring. Oh, and another, oh, and the other two life rings. Does that seem strange, though? There seems like there's still way more pieces of intel than there are on the map. Because that's one, two, three. Oh, just kidding. If you add up all of the, because I haven't been doing the fighting stuff, yeah. But. 
Our Chocobo Sage's request is on our way too. All right, we'll go grab these. I'm gonna run to the bathroom and we'll finish this up. But this is exciting. I like Nibble. I think this has a lot to maybe not offer as much as just, I think at this point, I think by this point in the game, I will say that you're kind of like, okay, I'm ready for the, like I'm ready to get back to the main mission. So I'm glad that they don't make this region super strenuous to grab everything it's really easy to just kind of scoop the whoop and continue on your way like i said like we won't get to the next chapter today but we'll at least set ourselves up for whatever may come um and really like i think again why i try to choose to prioritize this before progressing is just once again once end game happens i want to be able to fully focus and not like pause and be like all right guys let's go back and collect everything in every other region you know like i i'm a i guess i have like i guess i'm kind of the person that wants to do stuff as i get to it um even though i guess i'm putting off the main mission when i get to it but it's okay it'll be all fun and enjoyable and hopefully i can take down odin i don't know if i'll try him this go or not but we'll see so i'll be right back Right to you. All right, so let's go to the spring. Let's see if we can fast drop. I think it should be just up over here, but let's use Selena anyway. Yes. Hello. Oh, we can do this too. <laughs> I'm gonna go do these first. I feel like I'm keeping the fiend intel for last. I don't want to. Hmm. Oh, I see it. I think we can ride down this way and we should be able to still get... Oh. 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 Alright, we're fighting. We're fighting. Wallop. Get him. Okay. He's done. Let's do roll the dice, because I love it. Vengeance. Sidewinder. Easy. Fire and thunder? Did that say fire and thunder mixed together? It's on the side. There's actually two, like right side to side. Um, I just need to use Selena to... Uh, it's okay, we'll go down here to the beach anyway. Which one are you leading me to, buddy? There's two right next to one another. It's gotta be taking me this way, right? It's gotta be this way. Selena. Let me grab these first. I like how she can just kind of jump up and glide. Even on like some of the more difficult terrain. And there it is. That's our life spring. Whoop. This is also our... Woo! This is our new piece of information for the area. Sorry, baby. Excuse me. This is exciting. Everything to know about Nibble. <laughs> the flowers. I've noticed a lot of similar flowers on the life springs, but at the same time, I do think they try to keep it similar to the terrain and the region itself. Like more of an abundance of those particular. Purple seems to be very prevalent in this region. Which is a really nice contrast to the, like, gray, I feel like. Well, I can blend in, depending. In the shadow of the jagged formations at the foot of Mount Nebel, the village of Nebelheim had little to offer to the outside world. However, their quiet existence would change dramatically with Shinra's discovery of vast res uh, reserves of Mako within the mountain. The company's efforts began with the construction of Shinra Manor on a plot of leased land. It was there that the head of the research and development, Professor Gast and his assistant, Professor Hojo, pioneered studies on Mako and Genova. There it is. Shinra's financial investment delivered the people of Nibelheim from poverty. Their newfound happiness and prosperity was short-lived, though, as the entire village was burned to the ground and countless innocents slaughtered by Sephiroth. A perfect reconstruction of Nibelheim was later erected on the site in secret and now serves as a treatment center for victims of Mako poisoning. It was in secret. I don't think anybody talks about it, but somehow all of them know to get there if they have been infected with it. They are respawning, right? Am I crazy? 
I'm gonna go grab this one too. The tuft of choco grass. Maybe it's what helps you glide more? I don't know, I can't quite tell. <laughs> it's fun either way. We've got a lot more over there. I'd miss some stuff over there. That was snappy spot. Hey. Yeah, let's go back over here, go to the two there. Glide. <laughs> I should not be enjoying it this much. <laughs> and grab the tuff. And fly. And grab the tuff. I see the Odin location. Hmm. Creatures over there. Hello, hello, hello. Sir? Oh, I see it. Last life spring. A life spring here. Imagine that. They happen in all of the like least likely places. They really find like this nice hidden. I feel like a lot of them. Well, that's not true. But I do feel like a lot of them like like a damp moisture kind of atmosphere, something kind of dark and damp, you know. <coughs> also, I wonder if it's like a self-preservation to be somewhere where you think less people will travel. I don't know, I guess that would imply that they know what they're doing when they're being created, but still. You never know. The bluff. So Mog's done. I think at this point we just have one more Odin and then all of the attack situations. Good news, Cloud. That life spring yielded information on a very rare fiend. The King Zoo rules the skies of Nebel, and now we know where it roosts. No, no. I know exactly where it roosts. I suggest no. you clip its wings. <laughs> oh, I... Any of the flying creatures, avian tyrant. Oh, we know exactly where it is, yep. It's okay, I do have to go back there to collect some of the... The chocobo stuff. I guess I should probably look up what I'm collecting, don't you think? Um, inventory? Key items. What is this? <laughs> the roofish. The roofish? The roof is cut up. Where is it? Mmm, choco grass. Per uh, peculiar vegetation that can be found floating above bodies of water. But it doesn't say exactly what we're collecting it for. But maybe we'll find out. Oh! I know what we're collecting it for! I bet you it's for the side mission. If our side mission is speak to the chocobo sage near, look at the symbol. Yeah, this is so funny. Um, I wonder if I'm ruining, I guess I should probably go talk to them before I collect all of them. Okay, I see those. That means we need to go up the mountain. Look, is that a resort? This looks like a resort of some type. I'm crazy. Yeah, this is a resort like location. The bunnies. The bunnies. I don't s oh, they're right there. Nice. This must be the Chocobo area. Yeah, and then we can go ahead and talk to him and he's gonna tell us to go collect these. Yes, yes, good, good. Wow. Chocobo Sage's Manor. This is not a resort, but I mean, shoot, this is a nice place. Look at this. I guess it is. I mean, it is kind of like a, I mean, it's kind of when you get one of those off the beaten path little chocobo areas. We can change our outfits. There's outfits. We're gonna get new outfits for this area. Wow. We better get her classic cowgirl outfit. Billy? <laughs> Yeah, Billy? Here? Um, I haven't had much luck at the racetrack lately. Not the good kind, that's for sure. Is he having to work? So I came here to train. Oh, to train. Train? Here? You don't know where you are? Yeah. This is the home of the Chocobo Sage. A living legend. Surely you've heard of the man. Mm, nope. <laughs> I need it. Did someone say living legend? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Surely that's intentional to look like he's a chocobo more than ever. I am now. Thought I was a goner. Huh? 
mind telling me who you are? I don't get many visitors out here in the boonies. Yeah, this is like a... Uh, this is Cloud. He's a jockey for Gramps' ranch. Oh, he is, huh? Perfect. Billy here needs some help. You can pick up the poor boy's slap. I never noticed this bandana has a chocobo on it. Did you see that? Cup, and it's coming up soon. We gotta get in on that. So I came here to bone up. I'm learning all sorts of stuff. See? Hey, tell me you're not buying this choco dung. Picking garbage out of a pool isn't training. It's manual labor. It's giving you karate too, kid. Right? It is pretty weird. The man, the, the man's not a sage. The sage is the real deal. What? If anyone was gonna get it, figures it'd be you. This man right here wrote the book on chocobo rearing. Wow. In fact, pretty much all the major breeds maintained these days are products of his techniques. If you can flap your gums, you can move your gams. <laughs> now get on back to your training. Sorry. As for you, <laughs> follow. I know just the thing. One of my chocobos ran off when we put her out to pasture. Mm. Need you to find her. Bring her back. You're asking me? Her name is Selena. Already got Ain't her. A normal chocobo neither. Are you Loves supposed to come to him home. first? The way she makes rolling waves look like solid ground. No wonder she thinks she's the bee's knees. She is the bee's knees, Please, to be fair. God, would you mind? Just think of it as a favor for me. You've got a gift for wrangling the wild ones. That I do. I already found him. There you are, Selena. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Well, they scripted that I in there, though. Just you. in case you real skill maybe didn't find her. Girl. Skills like those of. Hold on. I know this. I do. Why can't I remember? Oh, damn it. This is going to bother me all day. You, oh. you got it? Aha, there we go. Sam. Sam and Will. What? They were far and away my best disciples. Who's Will, though? As I was saying, you Sam, Cloud, we know. You may well become as talented a trainer as them one day. <laughs> Did I hear you right? Sam? Sam? You gotta tell me everything you know about him. You're gonna give me whiplash, son. Remember he somehow blames them for his parents' death? The Sam guy you taught. You mean Chocobo, Chocobo Sam, Sam out of Midgar? I do. He's got a bone to pick with him. Know? Because me and him, we got history. history. Oh! I'm Will's son. Now we know who Will well, is. Don't that beat all. They didn't I'll have that conversation already? Those two. They had such a powerful passion and an eagerness to learn, too. Mm. Everything they did was for the birds. That's not the Sam I know. Sam's a demon. He led my parents to an early grave. Got them hooked on gambling. Pushed them to rack up tons of debt. And then... Mm. Yeah, that don't sound like him to me. You sure you ain't got your Sams mixed up? It's a common name, you know. True. Only one Sam in this business. I swore that I'd humiliate him by winning the gold cup. Destroy his reputation. Ah, it's a revenge. Some kind of revenge for what that bastard did to my parents. Hmm. I now like his socks. Look at his socks. System. Back to it. Excuse me? You heard me. Thought you came out here to learn about chocobos, not to get revenge. Mm hmm. Uh, Cloud, for your next task, I'll need you to take Selena and gather chocobos. Choco grass. grass. Which so happens to grow above bodies of water. How much you need? You kidding me? This fossil's trying to get us to do his dirty work again. Look at Red. Red, are you okay? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you think he's gonna go out there and collect the choco grass? Okay, that was dramatic. Choco grass is a genuine panacea. I kid you not. It'll cure whatever ails you, and then some. And once I am cured. Maybe I'll be inclined to share more <laughs> stories about the good old days. I like him, though. He's obviously full of it. If not for him, then please do, do it, it for, for me. me. I need to know what happened to my dad. That's fair. <sighs> okay. When I said it grows above, I was hoping there was more of Billy's story. It's called the floating flower, because it grows in the air. 
But with an ocean chocobo, you can harvest the stuff with ease. Thirty tufts ought to do. Oh, easy. Top to it, cloud. You Already don't want done, my sir. Death on your hands, do you? <laughs> I think I have like almost sixty. Well, I know I have thirty. Um, sir, capture Selena. Updated. Report to Chocobo Sage. We need to buy outfits. Where can we buy outfits? Oh, <gasps> are you here, here to learn from Look the Sage as well? Hello. Wait, Sorion? Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's going to cost nearly everything I have, but so worth it. So, so worth it. What's down here? Okay, that's it. Oh, we need to throw it on Selena. You know what? I might as well go ahead and scoop up this stuff. I know, I know. You guys are like, just go in and pick it up. I didn't want to support Shinra. No, I'm still going to hold out. <laughs> I'm still holding out. <laughs> Uh, tourmaline. There's some other unique things that they sell here. Bones. No, we need beast hide. I think we need hide. Uh, wait, exquisite beast hide. Nice. Let's go ahead and buy it. Not that many, but let's buy like 10. Maybe it's beast pelts. I can't remember what I need. I'll also buy like seven of those. And let's see. I know the safe. Hold on. I think I can transmute it now. For dry ether, we need... Astral Remnant, I'm not going to find here, but Spirit, I might. There's something else that required it, though. Was it this stuff? Oh, that was for the upgraded bracer for, yep, Enhanced Garm. That's what we were looking for, the B Spine. I don't think I got that from that. I think there was something else I got. We just got that, too. Those armlets will have to do. I already have that. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Can I buy Spirit here? A handful, but stick with it, okay? It'll all pay off in the end. I'm not training here, though. This is a really nice house. <gasps> it's so warm and cozy. I love it. Look at all the potions and things he has. Jars and jams and the fire. <sighs> what kind of material? Magnify? Oh, level boost. It's still good, but tortoise shells, hats. This is such a cozy home. And then it probably, I mean, do you think it smells? It's got to smell, right? I mean, being this close to the chocobo? I don't know. I don't know. It's taken, uh, bringing your stalls. I, you know, I have not been putting anything on my chocobos, have I? Let's throw it on. Although I do like the idea of the red with the blue. That's so cool. I have not been using the chocobo stuff. Maybe red with it. Oh, red looks so beautiful with her coloring, though. Ugh. Oh. She's such a beautiful, like, purple, blue. Oh, I know this one's cool, but I feel like the blue drowns out how purple she is. Like, we want something that kind of makes it pop, you know? Not that. Oh, to be fair, we can change the colors ourselves. Of course. I wonder if I can make it red myself. Edit colors. Hmm. Let's create a color set. Create, create a edit color. There we go. It's like, wait a minute. Okay, we're going to go all the way over here. We want just red. Saturation, we want lightness. Make this nice, bright, and red. Oh, look. That looks nice. We like a nice deep. Oh, that's too red. Too red, too red. Maybe right there. And lighten it up a little bit. I like it. And then color two will be like a deep dark maroon, I think. Yeah, so we'll bring the saturation like completely. Wait, no. No, 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 no. Is that even? I don't even see a difference in it. Have I just created black? Because the lightness is so, wow, okay. Maybe like a blue or, hmm. Maybe red, but then we have this be like a, why is that like that? Oh, it's the saturation that's causing it to do that. Like a crimson. Yeah. Okay. You can see the bandages. Yeah. 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 Something that's like crimson dark. Okay. I like that. And then let's do it for this too. Created color set. Hmm. Edit colors down here. We want this and then we want, I love how they have the save. Yeah. I think the red really makes the purple blue pop. I'm here for it. And then for the top set, we'll do this. And then we'll do, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll do the darker, no, I like the brighter shade. 
I like it. I like it. I think we can just go back and check in with him now. Sir? For you? Oh! You get your hands on that choco grass! Yes. Hand over... I have 33! Hand over all the choco grass you have. Ask for information on it. Yeah, all he needs is 30. I don't think it helps if you give him more. Well, well, if it ain't my beloved choco grass. <laughs> this stuff can be one hell of a hassle to gather. Thank goodness I had you to get it for me. Okay, so what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> I suppose you've earned the right to know. Oh, have First, I? First, I take this fluff, mix it with some chocobo feathers, and let it ferment. What? Once it's dry, I boil it all down. Then I squeeze it all out and voila, my patented choco tincture. That's some kind of magic medicine? Oh no, just a little fun. This what? Yield. He doesn't even use it for magic? <laughs> or for healing Speaking it? Grass, if you've got some extra tufts on hand, would you mind sharing them with my assistant at the shop? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Okay. Please I can do that. Tell me about my father. I can definitely do that. Hold your chocobo, son. There's still one thing you need to do for me first. What a surprise. This geezer isn't gonna tell you Jack. Oh. Face it, kid. You got a lot of nerve casting aspersions after all the wisdom I've shared. Mm. All the what now? So you haven't realized you've been training this whole time? Tracking down Selena forced you to get in touch with a chocobo's feelings. Right. And all that running across the water you did? That's true. Your That's sense true. Of balance and your bird handling. Key skills for any aspiring jockey. What do you say, Cloud? Bet you feel like a real choco pro by now. Can't say I do. Oh, no, no, Sounds stupid. Stupid, like we don't. Need more stupid. Reckon we ought to add one more item to your regimen. Think of it as a final trial of sorts. Oh, give me a break. Don't go changing the subject here, Gramps. We're not doing your stupid trial. No, it's fine. I'll do it. Then it's settled. I'll be your opponent. And dear Selena will be your steed. Oh, if a I race? Mean, does that mean you'll finally tell me about my dad? You've got a deal. But know that I won't be pulling any punches out there. Mm. When you're ready, give me a holler and we can hit the track. I don't think I'm ready right now. Like, I think we can come back. Choco Grass Collector. Oh, that's the side mission. Yeah, we have a side mission now. And then we'll do that. I'm going to wait just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's awesome. Wait, let's talk to... I'm counting on you, Cloud. I know, I know you want to find... I'm counting on okay. you, Cloud. We will help him. Don't worry, we will. Look at this. Hi. What are those? Some kind of maybe chocobo food or something? There's our rabbits. Did I already... Did I already sniff those ones? I did. I already sniffed those ones. Wait, that was a chocobo tough, by the way. I like how one's right there to show you. So we need to give him 50, which means you probably have to collect nearly every single, every single one. All right, so we still need to get Odin's, Odin's thing thing. I'm not exactly sure where that's gonna be. It's probably this way, maybe. Oh, well, there's something this way. Rabbits. No, it's not over here. It might be up to the side. Maybe. Mm. Back up, back up, back up. Dive down. Okay. No, but overall, still not it. And I don't think going up there is going to help us. I don't think it's that way either. Maybe. Let's find out. It might be at the tail end of this. So maybe you go all the way over here and then it pushes you up. No. Nope, it's not it either. Hmm. I am going to go ahead and fly over here. I think we want to grab this stuff while we can. We might as well grab the rest of the fiend intel. And then we'll come back for Odin since we got to fight. Got to fight Gramps anyway. Doon 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 doon. I think it's at the top of that. We'll go grab those two. Am I gonna make it? Glide, glide! 
There we go. Okay, let me get this. And then there's one more somewhere. I saw one more in here, I think. The grotto. In the grotto. There we go. Smack it. There's three right here. What was it called? The something... Something grotto? I really gotta pay attention. Oh, is that one of the creatures? Is that, that named after one of the creatures? <coughs> the Nid. I think we've seen them before. Light up here. Oof. Okay, here we go. Stone Cold Spitter. We've got a pressure in stack. This is easy. Up a monstrous signal. Oh, we'll Rare be fine. We'll be fine. Variant detected. Commencing guidance mm -hmm. protocol. As the Disgorgon evolved, it grew exponentially in size until it could no longer fly. His shirt time, feels too big. However, it began to produce a deadly toxin. This toxin is found in its cheeks and jaw and can be stored in yeah. large quantities. It's created from the Look at his little like a staple of the Disgorgon. It's got like Leia buns. The toxin's properties vary from species to species and are dictated by the type of insects consumed. Mm. This variant, for instance, is capable of paralyzing its prey. So caution is advised. Nevertheless, we mustn't let such dangers deter us. You know, I was just sitting here thinking about this. Between all the intel gathering and everything, I was like, I've never played Pokemon, but somehow this reminds me, I'm probably insulting so many people by saying this, but somehow it reminds me a little bit of Pokemon because you're doing this whole like, um, kind of collection. You're almost like, whoa, almost like collecting them all kind of thing. That's probably not it at all, but still, it's what it's like reminding me of, I guess. I got your number. Okay. Frost, destroying its jaw while it's using petrifying mist will interrupt its attack and pressure it. Okay. So toxic shot's not great. What we're probably gonna wanna do is wait for... Kate? Let me go items. Let me do a mega potion on Kate real quick. Cause I actually need Kate to help me with this. Oh, we gotta kill it in the time limit. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Kitty wallop. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need to wait for him to do the thing. Alright, wait, is it Nash? Hold on. Destroying his drum wallet is using petrifying, so we need to wait for petrifying. Let him do petrifying. Build up, build up, build up. I might have to do kill it on a different go. Toxic shot's different. Let's ride. Here, 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 here. Interrupt it with Blizzard, level two. Hit that jaw. Wait, that should've worked. That should've pressured it. I guess maybe not, but okay, never mind. Oh, that's gonna make me petrify. Ah! Spells, Blizzard. I thought I was hitting that jaw. Mm. We're gonna have to wait for it to do it another time. Nice. Ow. A minute left? There's no way that I'm gonna get that in time. We'll be able to stagger it, but we won't be able to pressure it or kill it in time. Come on. Nash. Shoot. This is just not good. There we go, staggered. But we're not gonna get pressured. Hold on. I mean, Blizzard level two. It's possible I could kill it in time. Alright, we need to let it do petrifying and I need to break that jaw. Break that jaw! Let's go! What's he doing? Oh. I need him to do petrifying! Petrify! That's me. Wrong, wrong person. Hold on. Let me do synergy ability, soldier Moogle class. Toxic, toxic, toxic. I know, I know, I know. I don't want to summon. I just need to. There, 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 there. Petrifying mist. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. It's on you. Hold on, spells. Lizard level two on that jaw. Break that jaw. Break the jaw. Pressure him. Pressure him. Thunder. 
That's so weird. We're so many little. Break the jaw, break the jaw, break the jaw. Keep it together. 14. Come on. Smack him around. Are you sure he's weak to I was like, are you are we sure he's even weak to this? Brace yourself, it's on you. No, I don't think he's weak to it. I don't think he's actually weak to Blizzard. This is bull. Mugul kaboom. No! 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 That did not count. <laughs> that was like one second. No, don't give me it. That was so bad. How? Oh, I pressure. I thought I did exactly what I needed. Maybe, maybe you don't hit it with its weakness, though. Maybe that's the thing. Is like, you need to hit it with. All right, we'll come back. We'll circle back. I'm gonna fast travel to right here so we can go get that one. And I need to. I need to pop a squad at this stop. Yeah, I don't know. I think you probably need to pressure it with a different attack, if I had to guess, instead of pressuring it with what it's weak to. Like instead of casting Blizzard, because that's what I kept doing on the draw was I kept casting Blizzard. But I bet I need to cast like a heavy attack. Like, maybe if you bravered or triple slashed its draw. I don't know. We'll give it a, another good, honest try. Ding. Ding. Okay. Skip these. What is this creature? Maybe the little, um... Hmm... see, what is it? Ooh, there, there. Roaring flames. Oh, the wolves, the wolves. My Pressure and stagger. This will be easy. They the fire. Rare wolf variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. God, this will be easy, PC. Actually, while she's in the middle of telling me that, I have something that I need to do. I actually want to apply elemental is great. Don't get me wrong, but I'm going to magnify for cloud and then I'm going to take Kate and I'm going to put elemental here. But I think magnify for me is going to be better. Yeah, I like that. Sorry, as you are. Their quarry by surprise. They are highly intelligent to say hmm. the least. In fact, there are countless stories of these wolves turning the tables on would-be poachers. Oh. We may never get a better chance to study the ways of this clever creature. Oh, oh. So go get that data. Oh. But watch out for its friends. Oh. You notice this? It has cool stripes, too. It's very stripey. All right. First things first, we need right. to assess it. Hang back. Set this. Oh. Just Ow. All right, hold on. Assess. Fire, yeah. A rare Nebel wolf variant. Its azure flame designates it as the pack leader. Dealing enough damage while it is enshrouded in blue flame will quench the flames and pressure it. While it is not bathed in fire, dodging or guarding will also pressure it. Okay, let's go with assault. Okay, I'm getting absolutely obliterated. Hold on. Let's go. Okay. Wallet. It's on you. Kitty wallet. Kitty. Let me do. Let's ride. Just watch. Let's go ahead and do. Oh, I don't have fire, do I? Dang it! I keep doing this. I keep doing this. Hang back. Hold on. I'm getting wrecked. Woo! Wow. Okay, hold on. Can we do fire? No escape. Take the lead. Uh, this is gonna be so hard to pressure. Okay, pressure's fine, but staggering? No, staggering I should be fine, right? Oh my gosh. Siphon him, siphon him, he's subdued. He's subdued. Ready? There we go. Come on. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Under pressure. There we go, stack. Okay, now we just have to kill them all. We have a minute and a half to do it. Let me do Moogle magic. Yeah, siphon, 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 siphon. Nice, siphon him, siphon him. There we go. 
ATB boost is almost done. I'm gonna need to hit him with fire. Nice, staggered. Oh, I'm limited too. Unlimited. Why am I thinking of that right now? There we go, and thank goodness. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be another one. It was gonna be another one. Okay, let's pick up the, we should have the plants over here too that we'll need to scoop the whoop onto. I'm trying to make sure that this video doesn't get too, too long. I know, I don't need to worry about it, but. Um, I'm gonna fast travel, right? Whoa, when was the fiend intel there? Has there always been fiend intel there? I, I guess. I, I guess. Oh, we need to do the, um, some, uh, queen's blood too. Gonna play some of that. It's such a cute little cushion. Mm, mm. Da, da. Okay, let's head over here, hit these boxes. I am gonna mix up my group because we have finished all of that. So I'm gonna go to combat settings and switch over to two. There we go, Tifa and Yuffie. This is the combo. Oh, I'm gonna need Selena to even get to it, I think. Yeah, because Selena's gonna be the one to help me go in the water. I don't know. Personally, I like the chocobos without any of the outfits. I don't know if I'm, like, surely some of you guys don't care for them either. Something about, they just look so cute on their own, I guess. Should be through here. And then, shoop. Here we go, gluttonous devourer. We've got Pressure and hand. stagger. Yep. My my. Yeah, this is good. Protocol. Note the distinct shape of its upper jaw. That sharp, many-toothed appendage um, allows it to secure freeze? prey. The cubaldon then uses Hi. its forelegs to bring the Maybe? impaled meal to its mouth. These voracious omnivores will eat anything oh. they find, including plants. Look at their snout. Corpses of fiends. Depending on what they've devoured recently, their appearance and physical capabilities may vary. While individuals do not pose much of a threat, they can be extremely mm. dangerous in large groups. Calling these fiends will help keep the nearby village and farmsteads safe from their oh, oh, okay. Well, we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, never mind. Assess. Sorry, my Freeze. Okay. Oh my gosh, he is mid-jump. Oh my gosh. Okay, this shouldn't be too, too hard. As long as I can put on my freeze. There we go, ice. Ice and the Moldapo gang. We need to see how to pressure them. Exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure. Well, there you go. Well, very nice. And stagger, and now just kill them all. Kill them all! Oh my god. <laughs> All right, as Cloud, now that we have the Magnify, this will be amazing on them. Get it, get it, beat it up, beat it up, beat it up. There we go, staggered. Nice. 49 seconds. Art of War. Yeah. Only one more... Fiend Intel? So once again, if there's only one more Fiend Intel, what is everything else? You know what I mean? If there's only one more and then there's the Major Dragon, what Stellar else would there be? Stellar performance, Cloud. I can't thank you enough for providing such valuable combat intel. I'll use this data to further enhance my guidance functionality. That would be a great misuse of our resources. <laughs> Requesting attitude adjustment. Oh. In any case, I've utilized the data for a new Oh, there's challenge. a new one. Feel oh, free new to challenge. access it via the combat simulator when you have the time. Perfect. Wait, but again, I'm so confused. Cause there's one more here, and then the oh, and then Odin. But st still, I think there's more to this. I think there's something up here. I bet there's another like Intel Tower or something. Something that we can't see. Let's go ahead and grab the grass. We'll um, we'll hop on Selena and. Go, let's use Selena to get back because I want to make sure that we can. Yeah, look, there's some grass on the way. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Nice. Ooh, nice, nice. Juicy. Scoop the whoops. 
Okay, down here. Wee! Wee! All right, I think there were all of them. I think I got them all over here, but there might be some more further up. There definitely could be. Oh, wait. Okay, wait, wait. I'm going the wrong way. Ignore me. This way. There could be more. Before I really realized what they even were. We might as well go do this one. I'm going to try to find Odin stuff. But I do want to make sure that I collected all of the platforms down here. I'll take us a second. There is some more stuff over here. Ooh, secret cash. Good morning. The perch, too. I'm not gonna get caught up in how much intel there is to do left as much as just clearing what we've seen. Perch done. Uh, it's probably gonna say I can't go this way, but I'm gonna test it. Yep, you cannot travel any further. But I at least got to see how far it could go out. Now we're going to go back over here. We're going to use the waterways over here to collect the rest of the... Like I said, I think you need to collect all of the... I think you have to collect all of these. I know there were some boxes, but I already hit those boxes. I'm coming! Drop! 39 out of 50. I bet you there's some that are hidden, like, really down deep inside of some of these mountains. Or are these just structures? Not structures, whatever they are, like caves. Like cave systems or something. That's at least five right here, though. Mm -hmm. We might as well go take out the Zuzu. And then what is this? This has to be like um, a secret or something. Yeah, this is something completely different. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Let me do a shoot. There we go. Me. This might be, you know what I bet this is? An excavation? No. No, is this it? Wait, what is this? Hmm. It's weird, right? Maybe there's another creature. You never know. Okay, we'll grab this guy. 43. There's 44. I see the chocobo. Do I have that stop? <gasps> I don't have that stop. That's a new stop. New stop, new stop, new stop. Yes. There are so many. I wonder if it's because you can only travel by Chocobo. But there's a lot of other regions that you can only stop. Hmm. This leads me to believe that I just didn't find a lot in other regions. All right, we're at 45. Let me do a quick... I wonder if I missed any over here. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. There's a lot that you can miss here. There's three different treasures. Oh, because this is all one infrastructure. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Oh, nice. I keep saying infrastructures, but you know what I mean. It's counting as one whole thing. All right, let's make sure that we don't... <laughs> My pack. There's more that are within the cliffs. It has to be. I had to have missed some of them. If I had to guess. We went there. That was our first Odin structure. We have one more Odin structure left. But I know we went in there. I don't know how she does this. But it's so dang impressive. I don't see any treasure. Those are just fiends on the... Sure. We can go over here. We might as well. We'll do this guy. 
Where are the last? There should be four left. It's gonna be scary. You know what though? Before oh shoot. Be warned, Cloud. Dang. You have entered the King's, King's Zeus. domain. This is a highly We need to get all of our melee or extreme caution. Ranged characters. All ranged characters first. Materia, okay, sorry. I'm gonna keep Yuffie, but I'm gonna switch out Tifa for do yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. All right, engage in it. The Zuzu. I actually shouldn't even have Cloud on, but I think I have to. All right, Tornado. If I had to out, oi. Okay, if I had to go, Arrow. Okay, she already has doppelganger out, which is nice. What's the says? Lightning? When it finishes performing Swan Song, a single attack against it will deal lethal damage. Destroying its wings in the middle of Swan Song will interrupt it. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Firestorm, firestorm. That's not good. We fought some zoos before, right? Wasn't that the bird that absolutely obliterated me? Nice. Assault coming on. Ah! Let's do this. Hold on. We're gonna need to do a thunder, thunder, thunder. Let's get heal going. He's going for me. Swan song. Interrupt! 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 Left wing. Left wing, hold on. Let's do focus shot on left wing too. Focus that right wing. You're in good hands now. Come on. Left wing, get it, 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 get it. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Nice, one wing down, one wing down. Right wing, right wing. Thunder. That's gonna interrupt her. There's no, I was like, there's no way that you're not gonna interrupt her. Keep the pressure, keep the pressure, keep the pressure. <laughs> Woo! Go Thunder! Okay, we need to pray. Oh, we need pray. We need pray, like, right now. Pray, pray, pray. Shh. I just missed that. United refocus. I got this. I'm gonna die. Yuffie's, Yuffie's about to- I'm gonna die, because I got stuck in this damn circle. The circle of hell. Need a breather. Love. Yuffie's down. Barrett's about to be down too. Okay, nice, I'll love it. it. Backline command. That's so stupid. I guess I could do relentless rush, maybe? Firework blade. Let's do cyclone. I'm in. Not loving it. Items, let me do a... I can lift somebody up. Revives and restores a small amount of HP. Yuffie. Still up for it. Swan Song, get out, get out, get out. I need to get a heal on her. Some hero you turned out to be. 9,909... Okay. What? All right, we're gonna have to crush the Zuzu somehow. Some other way. 9,999. So if you don't cancel the swan song, you're done. You're done. Hence why it's called the swan song. All right, let's try that again. That was so brutal. <laughs> Skip it. All right, let's do this. Well, now that we know, now that we know what it's susceptible to, let's switch over. I have to stay on the outside. My, don't overdo it. It's coming in. Hold on. Hit it. Lightning, 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 lightning. Get out of here. Tornado. Hit it, hit it. Weakness, weakness, weakness. That's not good. 
This is what we need to get out of. Get out of it. Get out of it. I can't. I can't get out of it. So she keeps pushing you into it. Okay, got you. Ow. Ow. Jeez. So stupid. I got this. I'm gonna have to do like missed giga potions or something. I don't know. Fire star. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Okay, look, just you wait. All right, Swan Song, we have to go right now. We have to overcharge those wings right now. What the hell? Left wing. Kick the wings' butts. Kick the wings' butts. Spells. Thunder. Right wing. Kill that right wing. Kill it. I just feel like it's. I'm so sloppy with this. I didn't hit that wing? What? Hit that wing! There we go. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Thunder level 2. ATB. ATB. Push into that, push into that. ATB boost. We're going Ring of Fire again. Rings of Fire. Rings of Fire. Bring it home! Come on. Can you throw? Thank you. Okay, hold on. Let's do. Could do static shock. That could help. Come on, we gotta get the Zuzu down. We just have to survive these. If we can survive these, we'll be fine. Try this. Pressure it! Pressure it! Pressure it! Staggered. Nice. Okay, we canceled it. We canceled it. We canceled it. Here we go. Limit, 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 limit. Cross slash. Go, 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 go. Let me go, um, items. Let me go. I need to go. Missed Mega Potion. You picked the right girl. Thunder, level two. Absolutely obliterate it. Heart of War. Get in there. Triple slash. Nice. Okay. Oh, I'm inside the ring. I am so going to be summoning here if we do not get this. If we do not get this. Swan Song, focus shot, left wing. Come on. Take her down, take her down, take her down, take her down. Hold on. Thunder, level two on the King Zoo itself. Take it over. Nice. <laughs> that was such a sloppy fight. That was probably one of my worst fights. So sloppy. I, I'm so bad at fighting the zoos, though. You guys have seen it the entire game. So horrible at anything, Excellent Ariel. work dethroning the King Zoo. Attempting to prey upon you proved his undoing. And without that winged terror oh. flying around, the skies are clear once Thank more. Thank goodness. must be breathing a collective sigh of relief. Actually, yeah. They are an easy snack. That is true. I often forget about that. Okay. Well, I guess at that point we have, oh, that's right. We need to find our other things. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna see if there's anything around here. And then I think we also have a, oh, we can come back for that one. Can come back for that later. Wait, there's a bird there. I guess because there's normal birds flying around too. Why would there not be? We've been over here. We've gotten those before. I know it's weird. I'm going to ignore them. What else? What else? What else? What else? Maybe through here? Sometimes you have to go through the path. No, I already got these because I have been inside of those and that's how I got there. Yeah. No, no. Maybe up here? Maybe. Maybe right there. Let me glide over here. Go over here. Mmm. Maybe if I were to go. Oh, bunnies. Wait, no. Bunnies, bunnies. There were definitely bunnies, right? <gasps> Rabbits. It's throwing me off, though. I know I'm missing some stuff. 
Um, 10 manifestations of the planet spirit. There's stuff in there. Yeah, there's definitely stuff inside of there. Let me do this. Let me fly up. Like be full. Yeah, full flying. And then we're going to glide. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Okay. Is there anything here? No, because this is where the life spring was. So it wouldn't be here either. Is that a... Is that my que or is that a baby chocobo que? I don't think it was a posh chocobo. I don't think so. <coughs> Where are these last ones? There's got to be something else within a cave, right? Hmm. That's not the Odin I'm looking for. I guess we could always go up there. I'm going to fast travel here. I want us to go to that other piece of the last, I guess the last um, enemy intel. Hmm. There could be some more water. Didn't see any. Oh, okay. Nope. We're in Pressure in stack. Now. Yeah. Rare Those? Balrog detected. Balrog? Oh, Balrog. That's right. Balron. I want to call it a Balrog. Is meant to intimidate its enemies. This corresponds with its aggressive nature. Once it finds prey, it attacks in a frenzy. As an aside, Valrons were sighted in this area only after the Maka reactor was constructed. Because of its humanoid form, the wings there were are beautiful, the though. These creatures were actually humans who had undergone a horrific transformation due to Mako exposure. Setting aside the veracity of these claims, one thing is certain. The advent of the reactor coincided mm. with the Valron's appearance. This could be a good opportunity to delve into the mysteries of their origins. No time like the present. No, Alright. Alright, let's assess. But don't overdo it. Woo. Okay, ice. Exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it. That's the easiest thing to be able to do. All we gotta do? He's charging us, he's charging. Gosh, Yuki is the best. Although she is a little weak, you know. Could use a little bit more pressure. Woo! Ow. Ow. Alright, on that note, y'all are going down. Enjoy that, magnify. I also should probably get a little heal going. Dude, that's gonna... Yeah, let's actually do a focus shot. That will pressure. Yeah, stagger. Whatever I'm trying to say. Heart of War. Bro. Mm. Pummel him, pummel him, pummel him. ATV boost. Nice. Stu A. Oh, I can't pray yet. Can I throw? I feel like I keep accidentally retrieving and I'm not trying to. He's dead. Dead? Oh my gosh, that's insane. She's crazy. She's amazing. I love her. All the combat challenges are done. So we have Odin, but then I don't understand what the other remaining stuff is. There's gotta be oh, there's gonna be another excavation. Well done. You've completed there's gotta all be. combat assignments in Nebel. No doubt thanks to my quality guidance. Or in spite of your excessive mm -hmm. chatter, I need to adjust the speech frequency setting. Oh! No. Stop him, Cloud! He's trying to silence me! And already anyway, silenced. Thanks to your hard work, Cloud, I was able to devise another combat trial. Nebel. I'm confident this one will pose quite a challenge. Dun 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 so let's go over here. We might find what we're looking for on this side. Selena, Selena, <laughs> she's running away from me. Yeah, I think if we actually go up here, I know we've. Been, I thought we've been here before though. Mm, maybe I never went into the factory itself. It would appear a side mission should bring us here. Yeah, I think a side mission will take us back here. This is where I came down before. Hmm. Jump down, jump down. Wait a minute. Yeah, this isn't... I'm still trying to figure out this one, though. 
Okay, so with these guys, maybe we need to glide down from... Hmm. I don't think I can glide from the other side. If I could, then I would expect it to be there, but... I'm gliding from over here. So we're looking for Odin's place. We see the first moves here. Okay, this is good, this is good. Let me smack it. I forgot that it went in doubt. You can smack it out. So it should show us where. According okay. to local legend, Odin's oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Be it the fabric of creation or the time between the seconds. 46. 46 no. out of 50. 46 out of 50. And we've got Odin, but we still need four more grasses that I haven't seen anywhere. Neeble. Square X X. Wait, so, wow. Square. <laughs> circle X X square square triangle triangle circle. Circle X X square square triangle triangle circle. Commence. Circle X X square. Circle X X square square something something dark side. Triangle triangle X. <coughs> triangle triangle circle. Circle X X square square triangle triangle circle. Circle X X triangle. Nope. Square. Circle X X square. Square triangle triangle circle. Okay. Circle X X square. Circle X X square. Circle X X square. Square. X. Oh, I'm, I almost, uh, I almost got it. Not really, but fourth try. Circle X X square. Square triangle triangle circle. Circle X X square. Square circ. No. Oh, triangle X triangle circle triangle triangle circle. <laughs> circle X X square. Circle X X square. Square, triangle, triangle. Eh. I panicked. Circle. Okay, we almost have it. We almost have it. Let's do it again. Circle X X. Circle X X square. Square, triangle, triangle. Uh, come on. I did one. Circle. End with a circle. Start with a circle. End with a circle. Start with a circle. Circle X X square. Square, triangle, triangle, circle. There we go. Who? It was something about hitting the circle at the end there. It's too difficult. It's too hard. Dad on Odin successfully attract. Six Boba extracted. All the summon crystals are done too. But then I've managed to analyze all the crystals located. What are the last three Thank things? You for your help. Odin will serve as a powerful ally, whisking your foes away to the land of the dead. Ah. Though you have yet to obtain the requisite materia, as I recall, you'll first need to confront the divine by the combat course. simulator. Of course. Okay. Well, let me pop back on. I want to find these last four. Go this way. I want to find these last four pieces of. <gasps> there! There's two right there! Wait, there's three! There's four! There's our four! Oh, I never went this way, did I? Well, nice. Easy. 47. Draw. 48. I wonder if that counts towards your completion of the area. I do want to go up there. I feel like there's going to be something epic at that tree. Yee! And we've been to this life spring, right? Yeah. I wonder what's in this factory. Fiends, for sure. Something. Birds! Let's go see. We'll turn in our... Uh, plants. Oh, we can get to it from there, by the way. Take the path. And then let's race this old man. No, he's awesome. I like him. He's sassy and I like it. Also, this pool is beautiful. Plus it's a, uh, oh, we can also use Chadley right there. 
You got any <gasps> Did he get an outfit? Thanks so much. I Received think that about reward. Pretty sure Golden plume. All there is to find around here. Tough. You're a true ocean choker. Otherworldly teamer. crystal. Now how about plumes? <gasps> and a weapon. Okay, so we got a goldly plume. We got cleansing material, and a new um, weapon for. Don't okay. Don't worry. I'll put the choker grass you gave me to good use. Nice. Let me go to combat settings. Kate, you have so many weapons, Kate. You're so spoiled. Man, we haven't gotten something new for my girls in a while, like Aerith or Tifa. Do you think that they're intentionally giving you more stuff um, for these characters? Oh, another prey. I do want to do a prey. Um, do you think they're intentionally giving you more for Kate and Red so that you're more inclined to play them? Since we didn't really have that opportunity in part one. ATB limit, let's do... Increases luck by 100 while riding the Moogle. Let's do opening ATB boost and then also lucky jockey. I like that. I need to start reading what the weapons are doing again. Like I, I feel like I'm really good at reading everything at the beginning of a game. And then you start to kind of take advantage of... I don't know how to describe it. I feel like you just take it for granted that you have access to seeing all of these things. So yeah, um, regional data accumulated. We've got our towers. We have our summon. All of our, all of our intel is technically gathered. So at this point, I want to finish up this, and then that might be a good place to stop until. Oh, where's he going? Where's he going? You prepared to undertake the final trial. Um, and then we'll we'll pick back up with some other stuff. Chocobo armband. That's gonna be awesome. I do want to before we kind of. Oh, snap. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see. Dramatically increases all attributes when near first place. I like that. Near the first place. That's kind of like a catch up. I like that. Hmm. Acceleration would be nice. That's like a nice kind of stable. Do we want weight down? Cornering? Cornering strength? I kind of like that. That's a balanced out right there. Ooh, but the treasure hunter. I like the lesson how much you slow down while running, which might be really important for this part. So I'm going to keep this. All right, let's do it. We're just going to have our hat, our lucky number one hat. Yeah, I feel like we'll start next episode by doing special race Zoom de Chocobo. One on one, baby. Wait, we have that. What is he using? We have that. All right. I have to remember how to do everything. Hold on. That's right. X. And then do we... How do I zoom again? That's right. That's right. Turning, turning, turning. I missed those. Shoot. Oh, snap. Nice. 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 Oh, shoot. Okay. All of my stats should increase because of this. Zoom up. Zoom up. Zoom up. Nice. Boost, boost, boost. I need to get those speeds. I need to be having like the best speed. Nice. Turn, turn. Why am I forming a bubble? Why am I forming a bubble? Okay, we're in first place. But he might, he might get ahead of us somehow. I don't know how, but he's gonna do it. Let's get up to speed 10. Woo! Woo! Come on, speed, speed, speed. Ow! No! Okay, okay, this is okay, this is okay. Everything's fine. Speed to Chocobo. We're gonna go on this side. Nice. I guess I don't get dashes in this? Well, there haven't been dashes, have there? Nice. Oh, turn! 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 Oh, no. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go like this. Glide, glide. We have one dash, one dash. We have speed of 10, so we're good. Why do I have a bubble right now? I did not look at something. Something I did not look when I was, oh no, no, no. I was like, that's gonna be how I lose. This is gonna be how I go. All right, straight away. Nice. We need to make sure that we land on top. I think we're good. I think we've got it. I don't think he stands a chance. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
We're gonna do dash. Yep, we got it. Oh, I didn't realize I have a bubble that I can throw. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Okay, it's like a, um, yeah, it's like a shell. It's like your version of shell. I didn't know that, but he didn't even come close. Look I will say- loving feathers. That was one hell of a performance. Yes. If I didn't know better, I'd say this wasn't your first rodeo. This is not my first rodeo. Surprise. Well, shoot, you got me good. And once you start tearing up the track out there, the racing world will blame me for letting you loose. <laughs> a promise is a promise, sir. Yeah, I want to hear about Please this. Please tell me more about my dad and Uncle Sam. Hmm. All right, then. What do you want to know? When were they here? Let's see. They couldn't have been much older than you are now. The two of them came and asked me to take them under my wing. Turned them down, seeing as I'd already retired. But they hung around the grounds anyway. Since they had nothing better to do, I put them to work. And that's how it all began. And what were they doing? Well, wasn't nothing out of the ordinary, I'd say. Ran some errands, did some repairs, helped around the house. You know, your standard training regimen. And in their downtime, they took it upon themselves to dig through my library, learning about chocobos and how to handle them. Came to differing conclusions. They used to argue something fierce. So there was already a little bit of a rift going on there. I can't say the two of them got on terribly well. I figured. Will and Sam had mighty strong opinions about how to best raise chocobos, and it drove them to fight with their words and with their fists. That said, the only reason those two fought as hard as they did is because they both cared deeply about the cause. Aww. As far as passion is concerned, the two of them were birds of a feather. So there's more to it, though. Hmm. How you feel now? Managed to sort out the mess inside? Uh, uh, what do you mean? When we first met, I saw the way your eyes were brimming with anger. I knew right then and there that what you needed wasn't teaching or training. What you needed was time. Time to look deep inside <sighs> yourself and clear out all the wickedness and spite that have been haunting your heart. Wow. Which is why you had him clean out the pool? <laughs> I don't know what happened to your father after he left this place. That's true. And I can understand why you'd want to beat old Sam in a race. Few things feel better than sticking it to someone who did you wrong. But that being said, you should never use your birds as tools for revenge. Mm. Ask yourself, why did I decide to start raising chocobos? I guess... My dad. I guess it's because I saw how happy those birds made my mom and dad. How they'd smile. The chocobos brought us a lot of fun and brought us together as a family. I guess that's why. Good enough. The why is important, so don't oh. forget yours. Oh I my gosh. Sam's got his eyes on the gold cup. Keep yours unclouded by hatred and you'll do fine. Thank you, sir. That was beautiful. Thanks for everything. I'm gonna head back to the saucer. Make sure our birds are ready for the big race. Don't worry about putting your name in. I'll take care of it. All you need to do is show up and win. Okay. Wow. Okay. Esoteric Secrets of the Elders. I really enjoyed kind of the message with that one. There's a lot of side missions that, you know, I enjoy, but something about bringing in Billy, right? And then Billy's story is not even done, but him teaching him about like time heals and then also him being like remembering the why is so important. And I know like it's funny, I when I decided to quit my own job and take this risk and do content creation, one of the first things I did was create a mission statement because even though like, I mean, mission statements, you often like think of it, it, this is a business to me, right? And so with that, I wanted to make sure that I always had this statement to remind me no matter the highs, the lows, like I remember my why. And that's what that mission statement was for me. Um, but with everything you do, whenever you make a decision, like remembering why you're doing something and like really sorting out those feelings. Cause sometimes I, I know like when you're getting older too, like I actually recently thought about this with hobbies, I was like, 
wait, do I actually enjoy to do this hobby? Why do I do this hobby? Is it because of like, so trying to also sift through why you're doing something is equally as important as knowing that why. I think that's a really hard part to get to depending on what you're talking about. But I thought that was a really incredible message that he just shared there is remembering why you're doing something. Um, because I feel like it's very normal to go through feelings of, you know, highs and lows, no matter what you're doing, whether it's a job, friends, relationships, family, whatever it is, it's not going to be perfect. But if you can remember why you're friends with that person in the first place, why you're doing something, why you're doing a hobby, what it is like, it can be the difference between letting something go and remembering the joy that it brings you. I talk about why I play video games all the time. I have this discussion constantly with people. I know, sorry, I'm getting all like deep about this, but I talk about this a lot with people because so many people are like, why, like, how do you do this as a job? But also why do you care so much of, of like of gaming, the amount of people that I've met and I'll be like, oh, do you like video games? They're like, no, 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 I left that behind in like middle school, high school. And, and you're like, and they ask you, they're like, why do you still like to play these? Like, why do you still do these? And I mean, I think it's, it's so much joy and love that you see in these. They're like visual works of art that you get to act on, you get to go through, you get to live so many lives in the course of just the one that we're given. And so, yeah, I don't know. I just liked that mission. I thought that was really sweet. Actually, let me know why you guys love games so much. I would love to be able to read that thoroughly and kind of see why you guys like this game. Like, what's the why behind, like, if you could put in one sentence why you love Final Fantasy so much, I would love to see that. That would be really cool. That would be awesome. Um, With that, guys, we're done with everything that I could possibly acquire in this area. And I think at this part, it's time to, um, we prepped for departure. So I think it's time to head up and see where the story takes us. We even seen Nibelheim today. We got to go to Nibel region. We got to see Nibelheim. We've gotten to see the cover up that Shinra has, sorry, Barrett's butt. The cover up that Shinra has tried to do. The, what seems like a good cause with creating this treatment facility actually to me seems probably more like just a place to house them. I don't know if they're actually trying to make things better, but we know that this is the birthplace and really like all things, I guess like all roads lead back to Nebel. Hojo, right? His training under his um, master as well, like seeing that relationship play out, coming back here to that laboratory to one of the first reactor sites to really the birth of that um, distribution of Mako, like seeing how it could impact and change the world. And this is actually one of the first, I think it's really sad because this is one of the first villages that were lied to about the prosperity. And yes, it did financially make them able to come out of that um, poverty that they spoke of, but, um, whoa, that was weird. Oh, I guess because they're all in different places now. But this town was able to break out of prosperity, right? Um, or poverty, sorry. However, it came at a cost. Like, it cost the town everything. So what I'm trying to connect at this point in the story is Sephiroth's relationship with Shinra. Like, that I don't understand. I don't understand how they connect and then adding the black robed men, I don't understand how that throws into it. So there's still a ton of questions that I have. Those people up there seem to be frozen or no. This oh, there he goes. I was like, I was in this like in between, but um, I know this is a little bit different of an episode. I, I probably could have made it a little bit longer, but I think this is a good stopping point. I'm still on the mend. And again, just my voice is slowly coming back to me, but I hope you guys enjoyed this a lot that um that was such a beautiful ending with that mission i really enjoyed that and i can't wait to see how billy and sam kind of change too i'm sure they'll have that kind of confrontation that we're expecting to see but i think it's gonna go a lot smoother than we expect um yeah i really liked that i liked this whole area so i just enjoyed overall i probably didn't talk a lot this episode but i just I was just having fun exploring all of these little bits and it was nice to have a more quicker paced exploration time. So yeah, 88 hours, holy cow. Okay, 88, <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta go. All right, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning in.
Bye, YouTube. Nibble. All roads lead back.